world. Boss. Hi. <laughs> what's up, Mars? What's going on? What's, what's going on with you, brother? How you running? Um, can't complain. Can't complain. That's, that's what's up. That's what's up. So, yeah, can I get like a recap from everybody on how they felt about their battle, and if it's any other battles that you would like to talk about? You should, you, you, oh, we live. Damn. Oh, what up? Yeah, yeah, yeah we live. <laughs> Fluid. Let's start with you. How, how you feel about your battle and the other battles that were on? You know, the whole card, Black Friday. Oh, no. I, I didn't. I didn't have a battle. Mm. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't. I didn't have a battle. It's like, it's. It's. How can I put this? <laughs> um. Like I love my son, and he's eight. And when I beat him in basketball, I don't brag about it. I don't talk about it after. Just he needs to learn, and that's what I did on Friday. So I'm not. I'm not gonna talk about it. It's over. So, out, outside of your battle, what was uh, what was your favorite battle? My favorite battle. My favorite battle. I know I'm not just saying this. Was, was Jay and Rufus? Like that was my that was that was my favorite battle. Um, I do have something to say to Ticket though, and it's something that I think we can all learn. Because you know, Ticket, you know I like your takes. And I think you have the knowledge you should have won. I feel like the the crowd, the chat, kind of felt like you were picking on Mars and they took his side kind of to defend him. He's not being sensitive in crime. The crowd chat don't know basketball. The crowd chat yeah. have never been in a real basketball game. The crowd chat have never been in a basketball arena. See, let me tell you something. If we turn the mics on all night long, all them people who get mad at me for the stuff I say to Mars, would shut the hell up because their favorite player talks that way every single night, not only to his teammates, but to the opponent. And that's facts. I just bring it live. So why get mad at me? Why is all these dudes all sensitive? Oh, ticket, man. He has to be so condescending and sometimes. Well, if you put if you mic up your favorite player, you idiot. You understand what I'm saying? Your favorite player is talking way worse mm -hmm. than I am. Not only the players, but the coaches too. No, no, so, you're, 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 you're right. I'm just I'm just saying uh, that's the right, that's no, the I'm just saying no no. Yeah. I, I'm just saying everybody yeah. says that, but everybody don't think about it the other way. They don't think about what well, man. What if, what if, what if we do mic up those players in the whole game? What is LeBron? What is KD? What is all these other dudes in the league? Luka Doncic, all these other dudes in the league saying the whole game to their teammates and to the opponents. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't. Hey guys, how you doing, man? It's all everything is cool. No, you understand? I bring it to you just like they bring it to you on the court. Straight to strong survive that we shall perish. Which I, mean, I, 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 I ain't going to lie to you, Tone. I'm going to be honest with you. I immediately went into my basketball mode watching that debate. I was thinking, Mars, you ain't got to take that from him, man. You don't have to take that from him. Go after but him. That's what I like about But see, chill. That's what I like about you, though. Because, see, when me and you had gotten to it at first, you it came right up out of you. I know you a competitor because of how because because you was like, oh, nah, uh-uh. You see what I'm saying? That's how you have to be sometimes, man. I'm just being honest. It, it, it's real talk, chill. You know, no, I mean, I, I, if you're on the court, I'm telling you, you're right. I'm just saying this is what happened. You, All right, you're right. Go ahead, go ahead, check it. No, I know. I'm saying if you're on the court, chill, and somebody's trying to get under your skin, and let's say they're not doing it with their game, and so they really start like harassing you, well, are you going to just keep taking it? Oh, are you going? I mean, are you going to fight back? No, that's what I'm right. I'm, I'm, the biggest I'm, surprise of Friday. The biggest surprise of Friday. Was W host over here? Yeah, yeah. No, he did a good job, man. Hey, I, just think good next job. Time, I think the next job. time, I think the voting, I think they should have a, a different panel, a mixed panel, in for voting, and I think they should do the voting by, for example, uh, numbers. So, like they do the slam dunk contest, you know, everybody come up with a number for each each person after the voting's over with, and then whoever has the most points win. Because if you do the crowd. I mean, a lot of crowd could just like you. I mean, like that's that could be like fluent. You you could be a, a Bucks fan, go on the road and play in L.A. and get booed, even if you did even if you did your thing, they still hate you. So, but if you have a panel like in the dunk contest, it, it don't. Hey, whoever gonna win is gonna win. You know what I'm saying? Whoever whoever those people feel like gave the best debate because sometimes people look past what I say and they look at how I say it. But the way I talk in these debates is the same way I talk in real life on the basketball court. It's the same way I am in real life on a basketball court. So it's not like I'm changing up. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, half of these guys that listen to the show ain't never really been on a real in a real basketball arena. So when they talk all that, oh, man, ticket is too harsh and all this other stuff, I, I instantly know that they've never been around even a pro basketball practice. They've never been on a college practice. Bro, you go to a college practice, bro. 
You understand know what I'm saying? And hear everything you want to hear in a college practice. I mean, our coach, man, I used to cuss you out all day long. You know how much stuff we took before up practice, in the during practice, during, during practice, 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 practice. While, you, while you running lines, while you getting water. Come on, man. It, 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 come on, you can go you get your bro, ankle tape up before the room. Hey, hey, hurt, bro, hurt, be, hurt, let's hurt, let's hell up. Let's be. Hey, look, everybody love. They love that football player. They love the football player. But what would they say if they heard one of their favorite football players mic'd up? What would they think then? I mean, would they say, would they think he's an angel? No. So cut it out, man. Like I said before, everybody has their own way, has their own form. It doesn't mean that you don't know basketball. Mars has his own way of delivering it. If me and Mars was both delivering it the same way, it'd be boring. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Like chill, I think Chill and Elder had the best best debate of the day. I, that debate was an instant classic, and I yep, think they deserve to run it back. Agreed. That was an instant classic. Both had great heavyweight shots. And like I said, it was a very, very good, good debate. And I think they didn't have enough time to actually finish the debate because I think that the Kobe debate that they was going into, that's a real debate that you can really have that a lot of people don't have. And, I, and my whole problem is, my whole thing is that pe- these people don't have enough respect for that generation. But with me and Mars debate, my whole thing with Mars is, th- is that that right there is that, bro, Respect the older guys. To me, some of these dudes don't respect the older guys who paved the way. So when we talk all this stuff about Draymond Green, bro, you need to go back and list, look at Ben Wallace. Sometimes if you didn't live through it, you, you don't really understand it. Or if you didn't live closer to it, you didn't really understand it. We understood how great AI was because guess what? Chill grew through AI. Fluent grew through AI. You watch the progression. You watch how AI turned his career around. So guys in this age who downplay guys like that, they didn't really watch. They didn't really get the the whole feeling of everything the guy went through, the teams that he had. Like, Chill always talk about the teams LeBron had. Look at the teams that y'all had in Philly. Let's be honest. All them teams he had, never complained about his teammates. None of that stuff. He went out there every single game, played about 45, 46 minutes a game, get everything he had. Injuries, everything. We never praised those guys. But we down those guys because they didn't have super teams and win multiple championships. So what do we do? Dominique Wilkins ain't that great. Nah, man, he ain't that great. He ain't, no, he had he have all the super teams. He have all the all, all-star players on his team. So we got to yeah, respect yeah, those other dudes. Chill. Outside of your battle, what do you think was the best battle? I really dug that. Uh, I dug that between OG the Beast and Low. I thought that, that was tough. I thought that was good work right there. I thought that th- those two guys were going back and forth and they were both giving up legit logic. <laughs> to be honest with you, I did want to go and Ticket just brought it up. That Kobe debate, I wanted to get more into that. It's, it's, it was almost like like getting broken up in the middle of a fight. Like, wait a minute. Uh-uh. Don't stop this. Let us keep going. I, I did want to keep going with that. That was, I don't think we did have enough time to get into that because that was something that was a uh, that we could have definitely got deeper into, no doubt about that. But the uh, the Mars ticket, Mar- Mars and ticket battle, I just, I, I was looking at you, Mars, thinking, Mars, all the points that you're making are legit, but you don't have to take that from them. It's like being a ball player and you scoring and this dude is talking to you and you just not say, hey, listen, at some point, you're not going to keep talking to me. I'm going to hit a shot on you. I'm going to score on you and I'm going to let you know about it. I'm not just going to keep taking it from you. And I was watching you, Mars, and I'm thinking to myself, I know that that's your game, that you bring legit logic and you bring numbers. But at some point, you got to stand up for yourself, man. You ain't got to take that from him. You so don't. But you said that. Hold on. Oh, you said he was making good points. He was agreeing with me. What are you talking about? He was agreeing with me. Bro, listen, well, he, listen, listen. Go listen to the – during the whole debate, he would – listen, the man tried to sit up here and use an excuse for Will Chamberlain free throws – as a reason to why where he might not be as effective in today's game. So the, all I, I did was but before you go any further, ticket, I will tell you this. The the Chamberlain, the, the Chamberlain Joker, the Chamberlain Joker debate, I didn't agree with that one. Because I already feel I think Chamberlain better than Joker. So and all right, and, so then all right, so then go right to the Draymond Green Ben Wallace debate. I now, or now defensive player of the year you watch, hold on, you watch Ben Wallace, you watch his dominance defensively, you watch what he meant. To that Detroit Pistons team, you watch a dude that went undrafted, that was a Hall of Famer, the only player in NBA history to do that. You watch a dude that won four straight defensive player of the year, well, should have won five. He dominated an era on one side of basketball, true dominance, in an era of real big men. When you don't have to argue that, I'm talking about bro. All you do is look at Draymond's competition for the defensive player of the year award. 
He doesn't really have the same competition Ben had. Ben had KG, Tim Duncan, Zoe Morning, all those dudes, uh, Dikembe, Dwight Howard, all them dudes was his competition all those years. Ron Artest, yeah, Tony does, Allen. Does that take away from his impact on the Warriors, though? Bro, listen, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to say it once and say it again. And I said this, this is why I told Mars. Bro, when they won the first one, who was the finals MVP? Ticket, if, I can't Draymond lie, was lock, if Draymond was locking up LeBron so well, Chill Town and Mars and, 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 and uh, Ron, why didn't they keep him on in the whole series? Why did they put Iggy in a starting lineup and put him exclusively on LeBron James from then on? And then Iggy's numbers, his points went up to 16. But why did they do that? Why didn't they just leave Draymond on the whole time? Then the next year, his biggest game in the playoffs, they lost. His biggest game ever in the playoffs, they lost. So let's talk about impact. Well, then let's well, go to the two years KD came. K they won because KD was there. That's why they won. Chilltown will tell you that. Because guess what? If you look Chilltown in the face right now, and he said the greatest player I've ever seen, LeBron James, if they didn't have KD, Ask Chilltown right now. Do we think LeBron James lose two chips? Here's, here's the thing, no ticket. That's not the that that's not even a question. I mean, when, when you talk about Draymond Green impact, I mean, we talk no, about no, no, no. I'm saying, do you think LeBron about, James win those two chips? Do well, LeBron already, James do LeBron James lose those two chips? If already, not, you, if, you already you already know how I feel about that, right? Okay, you so know okay, so talk about talk about. So then you y'all eat to yourselves because all this fake ass impact with Draymond doesn't it matter? Because you know why Chilltown? If his impact was so great. Why didn't Draymond and them just run it back? LeBron James ran back with the same team. Well, he was. But, LeBron, but that's not. The, uh, uh, that's not the same thing, ticket. And the reason why that's not the same thing. The, the reason why that's not the same thing is because that team that Ben Wallace was on, his impact was his impact. His his impact. He was on a better defensive team. Draymond. No, he hand. made that. Hold on. None of them dudes were all defenders until Ben came. Until Ben came along. Even, even none of them they, Chauncey Billups. Hold on, Chauncey. None of them dudes were all world defenders until Ben set the stamp. None right. of them dudes. Richard Hamilton. None of them. And them dudes. And that, and that part I'm not arguing. That part, that part I'm not arguing. What I am arguing is, is that what Draymond did, not just on the defensive side of the basketball, what he did overall for that Golden State Warriors team. That's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking I'm about. Asking, hold on. So, Chilltown, once again, the first championship, Iggy won the finals MVP because everybody saw he went to the starting lineup. He didn't stop LeBron James, but he, he guarded him enough to help that win the, the series. He that that. Hold on. Oh, watch this. They lose the next one, Chilltown. They yep. lose the next one, right? When they're the 73 win season, they lose. Right. This one, Draymond was at his best. Right. They still lost. His impact wasn't there. Okay, watch this. If if okay, he got suspended. Also, you lost Bogey in that series. Okay, cool. You lose that series. Why not? If Draymond Green's impact is so great, why didn't he just run it right back? Shouldn't you run it? Shouldn't they have ran it right back against LeBron James? If that hold on, that was a 73 win team. Yeah, it was. Shouldn't they have it, ran it straight back? It, it was a 73 win team. Now don't forget the don't forget the psychological aspect of it too. My best player is better than your best player. We cannot at no point discount that. My best player is better than your best player, and it ain't even close. No matter what kind of impact, and no matter what kind of impact Ben Wallace had, as, as good as Ben Wallace was, he wasn't better than Shaq. That's why they beat. That's why the Detroit Pistons beat them. So, with that being said, if you say the same thing with the Golden State Warriors and the Cleveland Cavaliers, my best player is better than your best player. These are two different things. When we're talking about Draymond's impact, as no, opposed to what I'm saying, he's saying y'all saying Draymond's impact. Right. He's saying Dr this dude said Draymond Green was more impactful than Klay Thompson, bro. Come on, man, cut it out. He said that. So what? I, and we all know. All the big games Clay Thompson bailed them out over the years in the playoffs. We all know that Clay Thompson opened up Steph Curry's game. He opened up Draymond's game because the, all the other years that, that Clay didn't play, they failed to make the playoffs until the last year they were going to make the playoffs. And Dre did, and and, and, and and I'd like to think that Dre did the same thing too, ticket. And the reason why Dre, the reason why Dre did the same thing, he didn't do it because. Because of Klay Thompson stretching the defense. No, nah, he did it in other aspects. He was able to make, he was able to, to speed the game up. Not only speed the game up, he was able to be a better playmaker and get Klay Thompson and get Steph Curry shots that they would normally get, they would not normally get on their own because Draymond was able to bring defenses toward him, be the ball handler that they didn't that they needed, be the rebounder that they needed. I'm gonna do the other stuff. That part of that stuff is part of impact. 
as opposed to Draymond, I mean, as opposed to Klay Thompson, and as opposed to Steph Curry just shooting the long ball. You need you need a guy to do the other stuff, just like Ben Wallace did with the Detroit Pistons, where he was able to do the other stuff. That's why Rasheed Wallace was as good as he was. That's why Rip was as good as he was. That's why Chauncey was as good as he was, because Ben Wallace was able to do the other stuff. That's what made his impact so big. Well, that's the same reason going on with, with that's the same thing going on with Draymond. That's why his impact was so big. I you, disagree, bro. bro. I believe if you I'm could plug you. somebody else in that spot, but you couldn't plug nobody else with Ben did in his spot at that time with, with Detroit. It's harder to plug somebody else in Ben's spot than it is in Chunk. I mean, than it is in in, in uh Draymond Green's spot. I'm just telling bro, listen, when you that, pass into the greatest shooters that ever play basketball, bro, what are we talking about? Ticket though, the thing about that is. I'm, and I'm not undermining Draymond or uh, Ben Wallace's impact at all because Ben Wallace was a monster. Nothing short of a monster. Anybody to lock up Shaq, you're you're a total different beast. But one outside on one. of the Lakers, one on no, one, no, for sure, for sure. I was I was OD. But outside of the Lakers, when you look at the rest of the landscape of the league, they could have got by without Dre or without Ben Wallace with with Rashid at center, or if they were just, they if they were insert another bro, center. You can ask, oh, Ron, 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 Ron. No, that's they, crazy. That, that, that's, no, because that team you was You can ask OB. anybody on that team. And they ain't had Ben Wallace the year that they lost to the Cavs in 07 in the East Finals. Well, I'm not, I'm not saying take Ben Wallace off the team. You. I'm saying you got to replace him with somebody that's competent. But I'm like, yo, you got Chauncey no, Villa. Ain't no way. Ain't, ain't, ain't no way. Ain't no way. Rashid Ron. Wallace. And Ron, it's like, Ron, well, let me ask you this, Ticket. Ticket, let me ask you this. Paul. I'm sorry to interrupt you, Ron, but Ticket, let me ask you this. There has to be a separator. So where's the separator between Ben Wallace? Where do you think the separator is between Ben Wallace and Draymond Green? The f first of all, just the, man, the ferociousness out there. I'm, okay. I'm talking about Ben was for real with it. Draymond Green, they, okay, yeah, I they, they don't know. When Ben say when Ben say it and lay it down, they believe it. They call him Debo for a reason, bro. It's not no game, man. What, what it's no not a game at all. It's all That's why I'm not gonna fight. He, what no, 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 no bitch no, in there. No, 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 because by him getting all the rebounds that he got, getting the ball out in, in transition, the few easy buckets they got, they got it because Ben Wallace controlled the Bulls, because he controlled one half of the game. And also, Ben Wallace was also known for being able to take out some of the best power forwards in the game during the, uh, during right. those years. Uh, he was in Detroit. Now, all those dudes had hard times with him. Now, with that being said, Ticket, I won't argue the defensive side of the basketball because when I think about Ben Wallace as a defender and I think about how versatile he was, I, I won't argue that. Draymond, on the other hand, one of the best one-on-one -on -one defenders that the NBA has ever seen. Not only that, just for his size, how much how much he was able to make up space, right? Not only was he how, how much he was able to make up space, plus how he was able to guard bigs, the separator comes on the offensive side of the what basketball, bigs? though. What, what, what bigs? And what yo, yo, Ticket, Draymond, Draymond to check some bigs. It wasn't Shaq. It was it was not Shaq. But Draymond had checked some centers. And not and, and, and not only and not only bigs. We're talking about guys who stretch the floor because there wasn't no there are Shaq was gone, right? David Robinson is gone, Elijah Wan is gone, those guys are gone. And Kevin hey, McHale. Hey, and, 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 go ahead, I'm sorry. Did I lose him? Yeah, I think I lost him. And and Kevin McHale said it. Kevin McHale said Draymond Green would have had a difficult time with him. Even with that all being said, there has to be a separator. And the separator for Draymond Green is on the offensive side of the basketball because I might not have been not. A, I might not have been a better defensive player than you, but I was just as good as you. It's but not really, on the offensive side of the ball. Absolutely it was because he was a better chill, distributor. Bro, keep, keep, chill, chill. Stop, stop acting like he ain't passing the ball to the two greatest shooters, two of the top five greatest shooters to ever play the game of basketball. But he and wasn't just that, doing that. He had to make it on top of that. Too, it, it, it wasn't, it wasn't like he was just passing the ball like, here you go. Chill no, town. he had to chill make chill plays town. for them. Bro, I could literally put a number of power forwards that could have played that position and got the ball to Steph, Clay, and the KD, bro. It ain't that damn hard, man. Straight so, up, they come with, off with, the with KD. It's different with KD. You can insert no, with a, a, a lot of people, but without bro, KD, with before Clay, KD came bro, there, you can't just replace Drake like that. Bro, bro, Ron, with Steph and Clay, I'm giving them the ball anywhere behind the three point line. That shit is money in their prime, bro. I don't right, care where you giving it to them at. 
Yeah. Even if that's true, Ticket, with Draymond Green, when he was running with him, Draymond Green wasn't a great scorer, but he was a good enough scorer to keep defensive on, defenses honest. You being a former ball player, you know how important it is as an offensive player to keep defenses honest where it's not four on five. If it's four on five, I can't just throw him the ball because yeah, the logic is – Two years, two two years. You, you acting like he did this for a whole six, seven year stretch. Two years, he averaged fourteen, and then what? Twelve. And that was his prime. That but was once it. I get, but once I once I get that tag on me that I am a threat from the long ball, that I am a threat in the mid range, and that I can score in transition. Once I get that, once I get that tag on me, then that helps my that, that helps out the other offensive players on my crew tremendously, as opposed to where you're not a threat at all. Whoa, offense. Y'all acting like and Ben on, Wallace wasn't a this, threat at all offensively. We man, all know y'all that. Giving, y'all giving him too much credit. And he that's ain't where the guard is. Hold on. Y'all making it seem like he out here guarding and beat. You're making it seem like he's guarding Jokic the whole game. He's guarding him a few possessions, bro. That's why they got Looney. That's why they got them other big dudes who's really guarding those centers. Draymond take turns guarding certain dudes on certain possessions, bro. Bro, Big Ben Wallace had the toughest assignments every night. You know all the bigs that was in the league he had to play against? It was yes. no duck and smoke no, any night. Not. No, it wasn't. Any night, bro. You're talking about KG. You're talking about every single night, bro. It's smoke. What we're not going to do, though, Ticket, we're not going to act like – I mean, Shaq did average 27 and 11 against him in the finals when they smoked. Bro, he did hold on, time out. Oh, hey, 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 and guess what? And, and against other centers, Shaq was averaging 36 and something. Right, so and, then, and, 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 and the difference is that, again, that Detroit team, what they did was they completely pushed the – they completely pushed the Lakers away from the basket. Completely pushed the Lakers away from the basket. Shut the door on Kobe Bryant. That's one of the worst series that I've seen from him when he was in his prime. I hadn't seen him play that. I agree, hold on. I agree, I agree with you, but I, I know somebody you praise who had a worse series in his prime. Yeah, you don't want to talk about that. I know Ooh. somebody you praise every day that have a, had a worse series in his prime in Miami in that first finals. Yeah, Ron. When we get to cooking, I get to cooking like James Harden was in Houston when he started cooking that pot. Hold on. Now, nobody, I know somebody. Nobody so, is, since, nobody you wanna, since you want to you you do the Kobe debate, and, no, and Elder, didn't cook you, Elder didn't cook you to the bone, I'll finish it. I'll okay. finish it to the bone. <laughs> sure, see what I'm saying? I will finish it. Because, see, sure, I'm going to tell you something. This is one thing I noticed about Chill Town, right? And the disrespect, the disrespect is going to stop. The disrespect is going to stop. Because guess what, Chill? All that little talking and stuff you're doing, there's other dudes that's coming along. It's a dude by the name of Giannis Antetokounmpo. That you better hope he don't. You better hope he don't come around and win another championship this year because they're gonna start racking up. And all that stuff you talking about LeBron James in about three or four years, you have to come down off that because if they stop cheating the system and start voting this thing right, all the stuff you doing with praising these dudes that don't deserve it and and and, and, and cheating the system and forming super teams and all this other stuff, we're going to tear that shit down. I'm telling ticket, you, man. I, that, that ticket, that logic doesn't work, man. And the reason why that logic doesn't work you is being because... Brian's name. No, he, went uh-uh. through it, he went through it the hard way. The Kobe logic doesn't work. And the reason why the Kobe logic doesn't work is because, number one, he was in a position. He was in a position where he didn't have to. Even though he did ask to be traded, he really didn't have to leave there because they built that unit around him. And they did a good job in building that unit around him with Shaquille O'Neal, right? They built that unit around Shaq, I'm sorry, with Kobe Bryant. And then when Shaq left, they did a they did a they did a subpar job until he basically stomped his feet and said, I want out of here. And then they said, wait a minute, Mitch Kupchak made it clear that I was not gonna lose Shaq and I was not gonna lose Kobe Bryant on my watch. I'm not gonna be the general manager who's hold gonna on, lose. Why you Shaq. saying that? Why you saying that? Hold on, why you saying that? Tell the truth. Kobe Bryant wanted to get away to prove. He was great without Shaq. LeBron no, James really. ran that, to that, talent. That, that, no, 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 no. Yes, okay. he did. Hold on. Well, well, Shaq, well, Kobe man, Bryant, hold on. Kobe Bryant wanted to leave L.A. because mm-hmm. he wanted to shake the label that he was riding off Shaq coattail. Mm-hmm. That That's why he fight. left. That part I'm not going to fight. We, we, we would not. The Kobe Bryant we know today, had he stayed with Shaq, we would not know that Kobe Bryant. And the reason why is because Shaq would have never took a back seat to him. So he would have always been who he was. As good as he was. But he, he took a back seat to Wade, though, right? Right, Shaq would have never took a back seat to Kobe Bryant, and that part I'm not fighting. He would have had to take a back seat. Shaq was, However, oh, Shaq was out of shape. Shaq was shape hurt. Shaq was out of shape and hurt. He would have had to take a back seat. That, that was and, happening and, and, later on. Here, here, hold on. Here, hold on. Here's what you hold on. Here's the part you forgot and, and fluent. I'm surprised you ain't schooled this 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 chump on this. Remember all those times when Shaq came out of shape and he was getting hurt and Kobe was dropping 40s and 50s 
in a row and winning, hold the team together while Shaq was trying to get his lick his wounds and get himself right. Kobe Bryant had a, had a stretch where he scored like eight, nine, ten straight 40, 50 point in the games. Yes, he did. 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 Don't act like yes, he, don't act yes, he, like do he couldn't. Don't act like he couldn't do it. You know good and well in that era that they didn't start and they didn't play those high school guys like that. Even when KG came, no, they didn't. Start and that part I'm not fighting. That part I'm not right. fighting. Which is so, what? But, but, you is... Use, but you use that. You use that to diminish Kobe early years. I heard you running your mouth, bro. I heard you. I, I and, so, you, you got little dudes like Mars. When you got little dudes like Mars that listen to this stuff. He's easily influenced by that no, lie. Bro, that uh -huh. to the public. That's not. Wait a minute. Ticket. Understand what we're talking about here. We're talking about a guy in Kobe Bryant who, if he put, you heard what he said about going to Charlotte right from the beginning. If he goes to Charlotte right from the beginning, you heard what they said. We couldn't use you anyway. So he would have went there and he would have sat on their bench. Just like he that's did with the Los Angeles Lakers. That's a damn lie. That's, 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 that's a damn lie. That's a damn lie. I'm going off what he said. I'm going off of what, what, what he said. This is not what I. This is not what me making this said. up. Hold on. Kobe Bryant said, said the Charlotte Hornets said they couldn't use him. They said sure. he said sure. that, and, they, and the Clippers said they didn't want to draft him because they look like idiots. Sure, that's what they said. But also, you you know this. They're playing a game because he was trying to get to L.A. Isaiah Thomas said he would never play for Detroit. Because he didn't want them to draft him. But guess what? They drafted him, and he looked like he had a pretty good damn career in Detroit. That's just what – you know this, what people say to try to spin a narrative so they, they get what they want. If he was drafted by Charlotte, they would have saw that he was the best damn player on their team. Then why did they keep him then? Then why did they keep him if that's the case? Then why did they keep him? They worked him out. Because he why they drafted to go play him. in Europe. They were scared. No. They were scared. There's, there's a reason why they drafted him. They drafted him because what they saw. And then they just they just handed him over to the Los Angeles Lakers. Him playing for the Lakers, him playing for the Lakers was the best thing to happen to him because he gets on that unit with vets, and they groom him in order for him to be the guy that we all thought, or not just we all thought, we saw him to become. Again, if he's on that team with Shaq and he stays with Shaq his entire career, he's not going to be the guy we're talking about today. Shaq, Shaq was getting old. Shaq, Shaq was already old. I, I, I disagree because Shaq would have became the same thing he became in Miami fat and lazy, and Kobe was just going through that natural progression of taking over, and he would have become the number one around the same time. It's so had he stayed... Too, it's interesting you mentioned that too, Tone, because when Shaq gets to Miami, it's not a coincidence that he's in the best shape of his career, where he drops down to like... He's I trying see, to prove, I, he's I, trying I, to yeah, prove he's the point. He was basically in the best shape of his career, even though... Because he always looked at Kobe Bryant, he always looked at him as less than him. That's why he wouldn't have taken... Not because Kobe wasn't that dude... That wasn't. That's not why. It wasn't why because Kobe, Kobe, why you say Kobe Bryant was a, was the best player on all nine plans? Why you say Kobe Bryant was the best player in the world? Why they was on the same team when they were when Kobe was out there slaying the Sacramento Kings in the playoffs and stuff like that? Why was Kobe saying? Why was Shaq saying that about Kobe? That's Shaq interesting. Said, I'll, I'll quote myself again. Kobe Bryant is the best player on all nine planets. That's what he said. But see, once again, and bring Elder up here. Uh, 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 Ron, send Elder a link and bring Elder up here so he can finish stomping on his boy ass. He ain't stomping on nobody. You ain't stomping on me neither. He ain't stomping on me. You ain't stomping on me neither. No idea. I talk facts. I talk about lies. Get the hell out of here. You ain't letting me off the hook. I'm not letting you off the hook. We talking about this man. 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 This he set up here, and this is the biggest lie I've ever heard somebody tell in basketball. He set up here and said that the Cavs didn't build, wasn't building no team around LeBron James. That's a goddamn on lie, man. That's so, the so biggest explain lie. Explain to the so explain hold on, hold on. to the no, you hold biggest, on. You hold That's on. the biggest explain lie in NBA people. history. You, That's you the explain to the people lie, the unit that they were building around him. Hold on, take it, take it, take it, You got it. You got it. Off the strip of James. You got to answer this question. Get the hell out of here, man. They changed that whole team, man. No, he didn't. Man, hold on, time out, time out. Mo Williams was averaging 17 before he went over there. LeBron James recruited Mo Williams for the Milwaukee Bucks. Stop One playing year. with me, Chill Town. I know basketball for real. Hold on. I know basketball for real. What was Antoine? Hold on. hold on, Chill Town. What was Antoine Jameson averaging with the Wizards before he went over there? Fluent, pull it up, fluent. I promise you, I will barbecue this dude. You ain't what, barbecuing what, nobody. What, what you Antoine doing Jameson a, what right. Antoine Jameson, an all star in Washington before he came okay. over. To the Cleveland Cavaliers, yes no, no. Yes, he was, but don't leave okay, out the so fact that when James gets him, no, you hold that's on. Two right there. That's hold two right up, there. Hold up, right quick. Hold up, right quick. Go ahead, chill. Get it off, right quick. What was you going to say? This dude is talking about Anton Jameson, who James gets in year twelve. It ain't like he got him in year four. He like was he putting was up. Washington. He was putting up. Give me a break. Give me a break. Before he came over there, what are you talking about? He was putting up. Hold on. And that Cavs team, by the way, that Cavs team 
which was built around James. He gets Shaq, who was over. Let's make sure we clear on that. Shaq was over. Let's not leave out Shaq being over at that point. The best years of Shaq were behind him. Anton Jameson, who's in year 12, their starting two guard is Ron, Anthony Parker. Elder Lake. They're, they're Elder Lake, no, what you need Elder for? You're talking about the elder. What you need Elder for? Because I'm going to clean up this mess. I'm going to clean up this mess. Right hey, look, hey, look. This dude is a liar. I'm going to tell y'all something. They changed that whole team. First of all, LeBron James went to the finals, fluent. Mars, am I lying? They changed the entire roster damn near. The only dude that was a stayover was probably Zajunas Ogalskis. And guess what? Drodo. Probably. Oh, Drew Gooden, he was a very good player back in those days. Am I, am I lying fluent? No, he was no a double double. Hold on, no watch this. Hold on, team. let's keep going. I said yeah, Drew, I I said Drew Gooden. I said Drew Good. Guys, also, if, if you can believe it, you're actually both right. You're both right because Ticket is right. They tried to build a team around LeBron, and they continually tried to tweak and change who was around him to give him what he needed to be successful. However, Bill is also right because they didn't do a very good job about, with it. I wow. personally would have built. I would have built a different team around him. They didn't realize what he needed was three point shooting. Hold on, fluent, 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 fluent. They didn't do. A, they didn't do a great they job. I'm sorry. They didn't do a great games. job. Fluent, Hold on. Fluent. Part of it. Yes, they led the league two years in a row. They were the number one seed. I agree with you. My issue is part of it is his own fault. Let's be clear, because he wants vets. But they did not do a good job of bringing, like the names were good, Jameson, Shaq. Those names were good, but they weren't in a position to really help that team succeed. But part of that's his fault. Oh, they, they won sixty-six games, fluent, fluent, fluent. Get it? Fluent. I watch this fluent. Get fluent. Fluent. Here's the ether that anything Chill Town say. And Marge, you take notes, boy, because I want you to listen to this too. Listen to this. When Antoine Jameson came over there, was he not an All Star before he came over there? Now, years before. Years removed. Oh, watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. No, no. What was Antoine Jameson averaging the before he came? The year before he came over there, when he averaged around nineteen and ten almost a game, right? That's almost a twenty and ten guy. Now watch this. When Le three years later, when LeBron left, tell me when Antoine Jameson was still averaging. He was still putting up damn near 20 points a game. Am I lying? This is after LeBron James left Cleveland. He was still putting up those numbers. I mean, Cut it out. No, that's, let's keep, that, hold on. That's the let's same, keep going. That's the same let's Cleveland team, by the way, when he left the year that they left. Williams, Anthony Williams, Davis was on that Mo team. Mo Williams was, was one of the best three-point shooters in the league. Chill town. Game. Stop lying. Mo Williams was one of the best three-point shooters in the league at that time. And not only that, Mo Williams was an all-star. And not only that, Mo Williams was almost a 20-point-per-game performer. How many 20-point-per-game guys do you need? Plus, he had great role players. Y'all don't y'all not gonna tell me that Anderson Virgil wasn't a great role player at that time. He did all the dirty work. Those were great role players. Oh, let's keep going. How about Big Z? Big Z was a great big man to have mm -hmm. at that time because yep. of how they so and then they had a mixture. Mm -hmm. They also bought in Ben Wallace, who was coming off the bench and starting sometimes, mm -hmm. and they had in Shaq who was starting and coming off the bench sometimes. Mm -hmm. So they had good big man rotation. Mm -hmm. They had wing play with Antoine yep. Jameson, who was still giving you good numbers. He yep. was still giving around 15, 16 points a game in the starting yep. lineup with LeBron James. Correct. Then you still had all those. Mo Williams, who's an all-star, one of the best three-point shooters in the league. Correct. He'd go out and get you 25 to 30 on any given night. Nah, bro, he averaged bro, around 18, going. 17, 18 points. Keep, keep so going. cut it out. Talking about keep going. No team so, 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 so if that's see, true, if all, all of those people. people what they, you saying is, would you? and this is where you lie to the people. Your, your value in building a team is putting the best players in the world around a player. That ain't how you no, build a damn that's team. Not true. That's yep. not true. Yo, chill, that, chill. Tap in right quick and then we got to move on. Go okay, ahead. well, what you're leaving out, Ticket, is you're leaving out the fact that those group, those guys that you said he going up against, I got to deal with the Detroit Pistons with Chauncey Billups and Rip Hamilton and Tayshaun Prince and Ben Wallace and, 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 and Rasheed Wallace. I got to deal with those players against those guys. I got to deal with the Boston Celtics with Ray Allen and Rondo. And Raj and, and Ray Allen and Rondo and Kevin Garnett and Paul Pierce. I got to deal with the Orlando Magic with Dwight Howard and Turkaloo and so, Rashad Lewis. I got to deal with those guys with the guys that you telling me that I got to deal with. So the oh, point that I was okay, going on, 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 on top of that, all of those guys you mentioned, and this is why I said they weren't built to. They were, they're trying, but here's why they failed because the guys you mentioned, Mo Williams, goes from shooting forty three percent. 
from three in the regular season to 32% in the playoffs. Antoine James goes from 34% in the regular season to 29% in, in mm-hmm. the playoffs. Lights Delonte get a little West brighter, goes from 32% three-point shooter to a Man. 12% three-point shooter. When the, when the lights get brighter, boy. All of those guys, all of those guys scored less, became less efficient, mm-hmm. and, and weren't the same people they were in the regular okay. season. And it wasn't because of James. And it wasn't because of James. And it wasn't because of James. That's a good one. Hold on, Ron. That's a good one. That's a good fluent. That's a great clapback. But fluent, you you know me. You always bet your, you always bet on black, baby. You always bet on ticket. Watch this. But watch this, fluent. What about the first finals LeBron James went to? Yeah, his teammates were lesser, but whose fault was it? Oh, hold on, hold on. Hold on. All they can talk about, hold on. All they can talk about is teammates. That was LeBron James shooting. Le- LeBron James in his first line. two playoffs. That was LeBron, LeBron James, James shooting 38 points for his line. 22 years old. Hold on, hold on. That's not the same go, thing, man. Go to the Miami series. Go to the Miami series. Hold on, fluent. Go to the Miami series, the first one. Who came up short? They gave him superstar teammates. He came up short. Ticket, ticket. Why, why, why after, why after you was Drake cooking Chilltown on Kobe? Why come you let the let this switch to LeBron James argument? You should have kept cooking him on. No, he wasn't cooking me. He was just cooking the hell out of you. I mean, the hell out of you. What he do dub? What he does is this. He used dub. He used that. He used that stuff to diminish. Kobe Bryant. So what he did was he tried to say, oh, well, he tried, look, this is what he tried to say. He tried to say, oh, well, they didn't want Kobe this, that, and the third. And, and we all know that when Kobe came in the league. I'm going up what he said it. Hey. Uh, no, 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 no. But you still, even though you said it, you still try to use it to diminish Kobe. But then, this, this is, is what, what he said. Doing. I'm not diminishing him. No, this is what he said. Saying. These aren't but my words. You, I didn't make this up. But this is what you do. Hold on, but fluent. This is what you do. You don't, talk about, you, don't talk about, you don't talk about the greatness of Kobe Bryant yeah, to where yeah. he went from playing with Shaq to after they traded Shaq to where he was playing with lesser players, lifted uh-huh. him up, rebuilt uh-huh. that franchise Keep from going. scratch. You, hold on, you ignore that fact. So uh-huh. you make it seem like, hold on, no, you make it seem like Kobe Bryant would have just had to ride Shaq's coattails all Keep the going. way through from that time. And we know that was a lie because Shaq had already fell off two years after he went what to Miami. What did Kyle say? Keep going. So, Keep so going. Now, he said, Keep going. So now let's go back to your board. So that's why I rewind it back to your boy. You talk about all the lack of teammates that he had, but bro, I never once heard. Take you LeBron. Hold up, hold up, take, take it, take it, take it, take it. Don't use, never, don't use I LeBron. Never, don't I use never, LeBron. I, I use I Magic never. Johnson because bro. this this guy right here said that Kobe Bryant had a team perfectly built for him for Kobe to be Kobe that's Bryant. He did bro, say listen, that. Listen, listen, Magic listen, Johnson never, but was no, in no, a position never, never to be put in a position to be in a perfect scenario. Now kick him some Mars and take notes, Mars. What does that have to do with anything? Wait, hold on. Chill town. No, no, chill town. What does that have to do with anything? You never talk about. You never talk about the help they put around Kobe. You never talk about. When he was playing with all those teams, when they had Smush Parker and all those boys, you never talk about how he dragged them to the playoffs. You never talk about how they had how he had lack of help, right? Until they went and got Powell. And then you lied, bro. You a liar. You told you sat up here and told Elder that Powell Gasol was a top five player in the league. I, I did not say that. Screen. No, I did, did not say that. that. No, I didn't you say, say that. You said no, he's a top five big man in the league. Hold on. You said he's a top five big man in the league. You did say that. He said he was a top five. No, I did not listen, say that. Listen, listen, listen. Listen, I did not say that. Chill you said on the debate, you said Pau Gasol was a top five big man in the world. You did say that. Well, okay. Let's go back. Let's go back to that time when they won the NBA championship in back-to-back seasons. After the 08-09 season, after the 9-10 season, when they won the NBA championship, when Pau Gasol, right. who was FIBA player right. of the year for the second year right. in a row, not only right. FIBA player of the year, where right. he was all NBA, and you can laugh all you want, because right. I already, I already seen, right. I already seen this dude cook you. So you keep no, I'm saying, right, right, right. Keep I, ain't to, I ain't talking to you. I'm talking to Tick. I already keep seen this. Oh, you talking me? Chill, chill. Stop, 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 stop it. Stop it. Don't be mad. Don't be mad because you on. Don't be mad because you getting flamboyed right now. Don't be. Don't be bringing out anything else because you being put on a spike right now. Because 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 Tick got this. Sniper ahead shot it. You 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 address me. You address me. What we doing? Continue. Continue. Let him continue, Ron. Let him continue. 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 Let I'm I'm muting everybody now. We moving on. Y'all y'all did too much. Right, we gotta nah, move on. Right, let it go. Nah, we let gotta go move on. Ticket, ticket, ticket. Right. Oh, we gotta yeah, move let on. it go. I, I love it. the passion. Go, Keep the passion up. Ron, Ron, no, I no, pay no. For this commercial time. Ron, no, I will pay for I this commercial time. Mars. Hold on, Ron. Ron, Mars. I want to cook him on his last thing. I want to cook him on his one last thing. Ron, he's a liar. Hold on, Ron. He's a liar. Even when Paul Gasol won the chip. I can give you five big men in the league at that time who was still better than Paul Gasol. Give him up. One. Give him up. Chris Webber. 
No Two. Chris Webber. First of all, Chris Webber was elderly. No, 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 no. Chris Webber was elderly. Hold on, tell me, tell me, tell me. Goodbye. Chris Webber was leading his own. He was out of the league. In 2010, Chris Webber was out of the league. That's the question. Okay, watch this. Okay, time out. Don't Chris Webber out there. I go to another name. Kevin Garnett. You want to keep going? Keep going. Okay, let's keep, hold on. Let's keep, let's keep going. At that time, uh, Dwight Howard. Two. You want to keep going? Two. What did he say? Okay, let's keep, keep going. Keep going. Another, another, another big man that was better than him at that time, Tim Duncan. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah. Now, another big man that was better than him, better than him at that time. Uh, oh, we can go Dirk to. Uh, what did he say? Yeah. Hold on. Tell me. We can go to. Yeah. Hold on. We can go to Dirk Nowitzki. Dirk Nowitzki. That's and it. Then, Another That's big, it. He was better. Hold on. Watch this. Amari Stoudemire was this. not better than him, and you're not going to tell that. I ain't finished no, that. I ain't finished that. I ain't finished that. Watch this right here. I'm going right to dab his prime right there to Amari Stoudemire. No, he was not. In 2010, Amari Stoudemire was not better than him. Hold on. Why do you keep saying prime? We talking about. Hold on. 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 Hold 2010 season when Pal Gasol had won NBA championships in back to back seasons. Not only did he win NBA championships in back to back seasons, Whoa, he was an all me. NBA oh, okay, and oh, the oh, people chill, player chill, of the year for the second year in a row. Chill, chill, he was a top chill, five chill, big man in the game. game. Of 09, 2010, I'm gonna ask you one question. Hold on, I'm gonna ask you one question. Hold on, 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 hold Kevin Durant, LeBron James, Dwight Howard, Dirk Nowitzki, Tim Duncan. That's five. Kevin Durant? Yes, sir. Those are, those are, play, those are, top, five, those are top five players. They're not top five bigs. We're talking about top five players. Kev, is, is Kevin Durant not a, not a forward? Oh, so he played no. big. So he played okay, big. Okay, talking about bigs. We were talking about bigs. We were we're talking, talking about, about bigs. We were talking about bigs. We're talking about power forward. We were talking about bigs. That's what we were talking about. Thank power you. That was the question. Yeah. I appreciate you. Yeah, we were talking about bigs. But I think it's... A prime of Mario Stoudemire was better. Chris Bosh was better. Why do you keep saying prime? Why do you keep saying prime? In the 2000s. He was in his prime. He was in his prime. That was Phoenix. That was Phoenix. Amari Stoudemire. Even even that, if even, even if you don't even if you Bob don't even if you don't include a Mars Stoudemire, you still had a guy like uh, Chris Bosh even even in there. He wasn't. Paul Gasol, Paul Gasol, Paul Gasol, Gasol. You can have you can have good debates. You can have good debates. You can have good debates. You can have good debates about when are, when are, that five spot. When are, when, are we, when are we? When are we having a debate where a guy who won the NBA championship as a starting four man in the All NBA team? An All NBA oh performer. When are we having a debate about a guy being a starter and an All NBA performer on a back to back championship team not being Duh. better than Watch a guy not Watch being better? Go ahead. Go ahead to Watch me. his body bag. Mm -hmm. Ask this man, hey, Chill Town, how many, how many playoff games did Pau Gasol win before he played with Kobe? Zero. It's a, a body around here now. What that mean? Just because he won zip, because he lost it. We, we're talking about at that time. To we're context, Ben that to context, Ben that as I'm if telling, like Paul I'm Gasol was you. the best player on that team is kind of weird because if Chris, I mean, no, no, that's what you're saying. You're saying a guy who went back to back All NBA, yeah. but he wasn't even the best player on his team. So okay, you have wasn't. other guys like Amari Stoudemire, Chris Bosh. Those guys were really great in their own time. I think okay. it's very comparable with Paul Gasol, Amari Stoudemire, and Chris Bosh. You can have good conversations on who's better than who. I don't know who's the clear cut favorite, but it's really good conversations to just sit here and say, oh, he went to three straight finals, one back. To back all NBA so he's automatically better. I think it's just a weak argument. Wow. Stoudemire, Stoudemire wasn't the best. He wasn't better than Yao Ming. He wasn't better than Yao Ming. He wasn't better than Yao Ming. 2010. Bro, go look at Yao Ming. They were oh, all NBA God. performers, bro. bro. I'm sorry, Ron. No, no, Yao Ming. How was he better than how okay. was he better than Mark Stadamar? Mark Stadamar average 25. I'm good. No, I'm good. I know you good. You good and cooked. <laughs> yo, yo Mars. <laughs> Cooked your ass too. You ain't talking about shit, ticket. All you, you doing is running your mouth. Dub hey, already, already put hey, you bro. down. Dub already put you down. Ticket on timing, man. You gotta give respect where respects due, man. Ticket on timing today, bro. I love to see it, man. Love to see it. Mars, I want to hear from you. First off, how are you doing after your uh, win last Friday? I'm okay. I'm You're good. Yeah, I'm do alright. you do do you have any battles you want to comment on? Um, I enjoyed Low and OG the Beast. I enjoyed Chill and Elder Rufus. I didn't watch the NFL one because I would have just been confused. Um, <laughs> flu fluent, fluent and Dub was good. I don't think it was a sweep, but Fluent and Dub was a good was a good battle. They were all they were all pretty good. I didn't like your battle with Dell. I hated that one, but the Why? other ones were good. What about it? Didn't you like? 
Dell didn't debate, and you said Ben Simmons was a Hall of Famer. So I just, I just, I just didn't like. That. Yo, I just didn't check like it out. That. You said Ben Simmons was check a Hall of Famer. Check it out. Famer. No, check it out. Check it out. I did that. say that, but I'm not saying today he is. I'm projecting. Oh. If we're talking about today, you're nobody's doing, a Hall of Famer. You're, you're doing something. You said KD played no. with a bunch of Hall of Famers and listed Ben Simmons, Demarcus I, Cousins, Demarcus it Aldridge, Dem- wait, and wait, James wait, Harden wait, wait, twice. wait. That's what you said. <laughs> wait, <laughs> the on, Hall of Fame. Fame. Just let it so, go. Wait. Just let no, it no, go. no, no, no. Because so Demarcus Cousins isn't going to get Hall of Fame consideration. No, it's just funny that you would use those guys when Demarcus Cousins was a shell of himself, Demarcus Aldridge was a shell of himself, and you used James Harden's name twice. He's lying. He's lying. Demarcus Cousins on that on that team, he still averaged 16 as the fourth option. I I said that, but Mars doesn't care about Mars doesn't care about it. You hold on, boy. You supposed to be a warrior fan. You don't even know that. As the fourth option on the Warriors, Demarcus Cousins averaged 16 points on the fourth option why, coming why off injury. Why do you Stop judge players? Boy. Why do you judge players solely on points per game? I'm not average. Yeah. I'm not judging on points. I'm That's telling you, you ever how do. great when he we talk was. about how you good a player is, you talk about how many they average. Antoine Jameson was 20 and 10. Mo Williams was 22. No, you're not hearing me. I'm telling you. Hold on. The love of Ben Wallace never averaged double digits. Do you know? Hold on. Do you know how hard it is? Do you know how hard it is to put up 16 and damn near eight rebounds? Demarcus Cousins. Demarcus Cousins was solid in the regular season. Then he tore his quads and was terrible in the playoffs. That's why I said. So, bro, hey, you know, no, bringing up but you're making it seem fame. like when he, even if you wanted to like say Ron Demarcus said. Cousins was good, that Demarcus Cousins wasn't a Hall of Fame level player. If you want to say he did that for his whole career, bro, he didn't go to state, that's not a Hall of Fame level player. If you're the Hall of Fame, that's not a Hall of Fame level player. I never said he played a Hall of Fame level player. So then why does it matter that he's a Hall of Fame? So why does it matter that he's a Hall of Fame? So why does it matter? Okay, but Larry Bird played with some people that were in the Hall of Fame that weren't that's, that good. And I don't, really don't care about that either. So why does okay, it matter I that they answer, were Hall of Famers if they weren't playing at that level? Me. Yo, it's I irrelevant. cook your ass on the next car too. If boy, hey, ticket t- 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 ain't do the t- ticket ain't do good enough. I cook you, boy. Okay, <laughs> all right, yeah, let's move on. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, hey, look, see, look, he's still he's still trying to send he's still trying to send the disrespect people 100 that he played with Hall of Famers is the dumbest argument in any match because Hall of Famer. Just because you're a Hall of Famer, sh- sh- which since he wants to br- say everybody wants to bring up LeBron, LeBron played with Shaq, but that wasn't Hall of Fame Shaq. So Ray Allen, Ray Allen, of course, of course, of course, of course. Y'all to be honest, no all Hall of Famer. Plus, 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 the Hall of Fame's a complete joke because they count since you were in diapers playing basketball because it's not the NBA Hall of Fame; it's the Basketball Hall of Fame. So Hall of Fame is just a bad. Yeah, but fluent. You can't. You cannot deny that that Boogie Cousins. As I'm, not saying, I'm not saying Boogie specifically. I'm saying in general using Hall of Fame. No, I'm saying no. I'm talking about. No, I'm talking about. I know. I'm talking about to Ron's argument. Boogie on that Warriors team. With KD, Boogie was averaging 16 points a game as a eight fourth rebound. option. Think now, I want you to think about, hold on. I want you to think about one thing, Floyd. Bro, All right, let, me ask you, no, let, me ask you hold on, let me ask you this. You're talking about Boogie Cousins. Forget the name. If there was a guy averaging 16 and 8, would you say he had, that was, he had great help? Bro, if he's playing beside KD, name, Steph Curry, was Clay Smith. Thompson, then yes. If his if his name was Bob Smith, would you say yeah, sixteen and eight? Yeah, bro, that's, he's playing that's, beside he's, KD. Are you adding value to Boogie sixteen and eight because no, of Boogie? You're not, no, good. you're not. No, no, you don't understand what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. I'm saying he's playing. He's playing beside three. He's playing beside three Hall of Famers and Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, and KD in their prime. So, bro, KD, you already know he getting his shots. You know Curry getting his, and you know Clay getting his. For that man to still average sixteen on that team, that was great. So is it fair to say that Demarcus Cousins is a what if? I wouldn't say that. I'm saying up until that year, up until that year, up until that year, he was a lock Hall of Famer. Up until that year, he was a lock Hall of Famer. Yo, I and, doubt and, a player who's never who had never Boogie, played. Look, if Boogie doesn't get hurt, he goes down as one of the best big men ever. So yeah, he's bro. A huge, that was a, he was a lot. Hold on, uh, Mars. Up until that Golden State Warriors, yeah, they they went to the finals. He was a lock Hall of Famer. Everybody's channel. If you, can, if you can name me one player who had never played in the playoffs and made the Hall of Fame, I'll entertain that. One player who what? Never one player played, who never had never played, 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 played a playoff played. game, never but played. was in the Hall of Fame, then cool. He had never played in the playoffs. You should add as a player. Say as a player. Yeah, he had never played in the playoffs one day in his life before Golden State. 
but you guys are trying to tell me he was for the Pelicans. Field. He wasn't no. in the playoffs. He got hurt no. before the playoffs. He, he got hurt. hurt. He didn't play. He did, no, he got hurt. He had never he got, played hold on. in the playoffs. Well, I can't okay, say he was That's not a fair right. argument. That's not a fair argument because that Pelicans team was headed to the playoffs and they were one of the most dangerous teams in the West that year. I agree, but he got hurt. He never played in the playoffs. You can't be a Hall of Famer and never play in the playoffs. Hold on. All I'm saying to you is this. Hold on. And guess what? He was a big difference because before he went over there, that Pelicans team wasn't like that before he went over there. I agree because he was a great player, but you can't be a Hall of Famer and never play in the playoffs. If you can tell me one player who did that, bro, I can listen, see that you can't in the Hall of Fame and the Hall of Fame is about numbers, bro. It's about numbers, okay, man. So tell me the one the player who made the, the main guy. But he made the playoffs. Tell me the one player who never played a playoff game and made the Hall of Fame. One player. None. There hasn't been. Okay, there has so never been. You can't yeah, say hold on. But you're not hearing. You can't say that. I'm not saying it, Mars. I'm not saying well, it. I'm, he was what we're saying is this. Yeah, I agree he was on the trajectory. Yes, he was he on the Hall of Famer before he got to Golden State. At all. No one would say DeMarcus Cousins with zero uh, playoff games was a Hall of Famer. Hall of Fame talent, maybe. Hall of Famer, no. No one would say that. Okay. Damn. All right, y'all. We're going to keep it pushing. We're going to get into the first topic. I know y'all seen the title of the show and whatnot. But it is somebody in the NBA that's cooking right now. We talk about him a lot on this show. Um, sometimes he's been referred to as Terry Claude. Sometimes he's, he's been referred to as Last Man. But as of right now, Anthony Davis is dominating the NBA over the last two weeks. He's averaging 31 points, 14 rebounds, two blocks, and a steal and a half. And last night he had 26, 13, and 6. I need to know thoughts on this. Fluent, I want to come to you first. How are you feeling about AD? Is he turning things around? Or is he? Uh, now's the absolute correct time for the Lakers to trade him. And yes, yes, he's he he looks great. He looks healthy. He is one of the best big men in the league right now, and that's why they need to trade him because he will not last another month. It's fact. You, you can laugh, but that's that's what's going to happen. Trade him. Mars, I wish how you feel about that? Well, just because the Lakers aren't going to win, but I I think he's finally healthy, and people are seeing the Anthony Davis that everyone. Who knew who Anthony Davis was? Knew he was around. So he just wasn't healthy. Anthony Davis, when he's healthy, is one of the ten best players in the NBA. The issue was the last two seasons he's never been healthy. This season he finally had a full off season, which is why I believe he's been healthy this season. If he gets hurt again, then I'll have to finally be off the Anthony Davis train, and because there's no other excuse. But this is the Anthony Davis I knew existed. I've always been saying Anthony Davis is in the top ten. I never bought into the fact that people thought Carl Anthony Towns or Damian Lillard. Or Jason Tatum were better players than him. I, I never believed that. So this isn't a surprise to me. Yo, yo, Mars. So I know it's a bit of a stretch, and I know it's only a two week period. But over these two weeks, has he been playing like the best big man in the league? Um, you bet not lie, boy. Between between <laughs> him, I mean Embiid's been you out. Lie, so between you lie, I'm on your ass. Mars, don't Straight take up. that from him, Mars. Between you, you between, lie, I'm between on your ass. Shut the hell I'm up, Tiki. He talking. Lie. I'm waiting the you last lie. two Tiki. weeks. Shut I'd up, say Tiki. it's between him and Jokic over the last two weeks in terms of who's been playing the best. Okay, that's Tiki, exactly. that's the answer you're but that's going to change, right? Because LeBron. Yeah, that, I mean, Bro. LeBron, LeBron's not a big, but oh no, yeah, no, he no, affects no. he affects AD's play. Yeah, I agree. yes, there you go. Thank you. Yeah, I, I don't Bro, think AD is going to look dude, like this he's dude been about, This dude forget about somebody that's playing up in Milwaukee without his other two best players on the team. Y'all some real haters, man. Oh, I'm, that's I'm right. That's right. You're right about that. Y'all some real haters. You forget about a dude in Milwaukee that goes by the name of the Greek Freak. That's the real best player in the world. That is the real best big man in the world. Period. And y'all disrespectful and you condescending, boy. And ain't no way in hell AD on any. Day playing better than the Greek freak, so cut yeah, the that's, shit. That's that's really dumb. If Yanis plays a game and scores five points and AD has fifty, he played better than him that day. Just because his name is Yanis. What are you I'm talking saying, about? No, I'm not I'm saying AD is a better player I'm, than Yanis, though, am I? I'm not saying that. No, I'm you're saying, saying over right the last now two weeks, playing better. Think, that's a guy. Yes, over the last two weeks. I think, why has Yanis played better over the last two weeks? Hold on, this is what I'm saying to you. Giannis and Tedekupo answered a question. Hold on, hold after hold the over the last two weeks, how has Yanis played better? He has that's not, not had middle to the whole that's not season. The question. That's and, not the hold question. on. And Drew Holiday's been out that's half the, the season. That's not the question. Over okay, the last two weeks. No, I'm saying, no, no. Giannis, I'm Giannis saying, been balling, though, Mars. I agree. I'm saying what Giannis has been doing. 
What Based Giannis is doing is way more impressive than AD. Want, what he's doing is AD. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's keep it hundred. AD beating up on scrubs, enough. man. AD beating up on scrubs, man. Let's keep Giannis is out here slaying the, the best teams in the world by himself. Cut the the Bucks shit, strength boy. of schedule has been the worst in the league. They've had literally. The Are you out your goddamn? Hold They've on, had one on, of the easiest on. schedules in the league. He already hold on, yeah, hold on. The only team, the only big premier team that they probably lost to so far was Philly. That's it. Uh, they've had, Mark, they've had, Mark, they've had, they've had, let me read to you. They had like the sixth easiest schedule in the league. Let me, let me read to you. Let me read to you the last. Hold on, hold on, take it. Let me read to you the last. Let me read to you the last. Let me read to you the last six games, right? Dallas Mavericks, it's not that bad of a team. Play 30, off, point, play 30 points, 11, four assists, uh, mm -hmm. and a steal. Mm -hmm. Uh, Cleveland, play off team. team, 38 points, nine rebounds, six assists. Uh, Chicago Bulls. Keep cooking this boy. Dub, 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 you, don't, Dub, you, don't, Dub, you don't have to do that. Just tell him over the last two weeks. I'm AD, telling him. I'm AD telling him. He's averaging team. 31 and 16 with two turnovers. Giannis 29 and 10 with five turnovers. So, yes, over the last two weeks, statistically, because you're just saying stats. No, uh, you gotta look at the competition. Uh, I'm going to continue because do I, don't, I don't know what the hell he's talking about. 36, 36, 11, and 7 with uh, the Chicago Bulls. Portland Trailblazers, 37, 7, and 6. Four. 25, 25, 14, and 4 against the Philadelphia Sixers. And then Cleveland again, he has 16, 12, and 8. So that was a down game. So he had – in the last – yeah, yeah. So in the past, in the last six games, he's had pretty good competition, performed very well. It's not crazy to say that Giannis has been playing better than Anthony Davis. And also to bring Anthony Davis, the worst team in the NBA. Cut it out. Giannis got Player of the Week last week too. To bring things into context, he averaged thirty-five. Damn right, six. Okay. Your 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 question was over the last two weeks, and they were talking. I still think over the last two weeks, statistically on offense. AD's been playing better. Giannis is so clear. no, hold on. So now it doesn't matter who you play against right. Floyd. What's that? Floyd. It doesn't matter who you play against now, Floyd. Um, you know, I always say you play who's in front of you. You can't control that. So, so Floyd, um, if he's um, playing backups and Giannis is playing the best in the world, you gonna give him cre extra credit for beating up bombs? I said statistically. Well, they beat the Spurs. Hold on. They beat. He beat the Spurs twice. And who else did they beat? Man, keep it a hundred. The one team that they had that was a good team, they got their ass for. In the and Phoenix Suns, AD, AD played great in that game. But. And since and since and since, and since Chill Town boy LeBrick James came back, we ain't even seen the same AD no more. Because Jack a lot of records is out there trying to get a score record instead of winning games and flush the season down the toilet yeah. last night. Yeah. But guess Amen. what? Chill Town won't come in here and talk about that. Actually, I was. Actually, I was. I'm glad you brought that up, Ticket. Actually, I was because the first thing that I was going to do was I was going to talk about what the plan is with AD. AD was the guy who was supposed to have the dominant space on the floor. That's why they were rolling. He was 31 and 14 over these last 15 games, over these last 14 games, over these last 10 games. I'm sorry, 31 and 14. Not only were they rolling, right? He hasn't taken a three-pointer. He's played in the he played on the box, in the mid post, and in the mid-range. They not getting nothing from their guys on the perimeter. They went three last night specifically. Last night specifically, they, their starters went six for 19 on the long ball. They're not mm -hmm. built to play like that. They're mm -hmm. built to play to their strength. What is their strength? Their strength is Anthony Davis. He is the guy with the dominant space. And last night, when I watched Anthony Davis, over the last three games, Anthony Davis is 9 for 10 in the fourth quarter. 9 for 10 in the fourth quarter. Meanwhile, last night, Anthony Davis takes two shots in the fourth quarter. James took eight. Instead of going to – That's it's, not no, new. Yes, it is. Yeah, yes, because they, is? They, they, Yeah, the reason why is because they were winning when James wasn't on the floor. They were winning. So now mm -hmm. we get back to now we get back to James having the ball instead of James going to Anthony Davis and going, big fella, we up 17, take <laughs> us home. Instead of instead of him doing that, he's shooting the long ball. He's taking all the shots. Meanwhile, Anthony Davis, who we've been winning with, who's had the dominant space, who this was the plan right from the door. We're going to run the offense through you. You're going to be the guy that's going to take us home. The only problem with him was health. Because we've seen stretches like this from Anthony Davis when he was in New Orleans, right before he got traded. He had a, I believe he had a 10 game stretch where he went 34 and 15 for 10 straight games. Now, don't get me wrong. This team, I said it, this was a week ago. I thought they were the worst team in the NBA. And I still stand on that logic with the, with the talent that they have. I still feel like that. If they don't play to their strengths, which is Anthony Davis having a dominant space and him being the best player offensively and them running the offense through them, what you see now is going to continue because we can't win with James shooting all the shots. It's not going to work. It is not going to work.
Mm-hmm. But I, I actually, like you were standing over. That's the first time I ever heard you criticize your kids. <laughs> so I had to no, give you, no, it's not. I had to no. you a standing. I had to give you a standing ovation because what? that ain't nothing but the truth. And I'm gonna tell you something. If he don't watch out, if, if, if he hey, if he doesn't watch out. They're going to blow that team. They're going to trade AD like, like Fluent said. They're going to blow that team, and they're going to surprise everybody. And I agree with Fluent. I trade AD right now. At his highest peak right now, I get him out of there. Period. The trade him right today. Now. You can probably get the most for him right now if you move that. Mm-hmm. Listen, let's be honest. With LeBron, that team, that makeup is not winning a championship. So you know what? Let's look to the future. You can, get, mean, to what your, do you- you can get the most right now for him because he does look so good. What do you trade him for, though? Who do you trade well, him for? Hold, hold on, Ron. Are you getting just players that are competitive that. right now? That's, ahead, that's the plan, this. Ron, because if you think about it, I mean, <laughs> Utah Jazz got six. What, they got four ones for Rudy? What do you think Anthony Davis goes for? I can get no, at least three no, ones for no. him. Hey, hold on. Chill, chill, chill. i said this before. Bro, but he's hurt now. i go do it for Cat, because guess what? If I get Cat, Cat fits better with LeBron in my opinion anyways, because how well he shoots the three. But – He's younger. He is more. He is more reliable. Even though he got hurt, he'll be out for about a few weeks now. I still, I like the cat deal right now. You give me cat and maybe a couple of those role players or cat and a, and a couple picks. I'll do the AD for cat deal right now, and then I'll turn around and flip Russ and go see if I can get Kyrie. That's what I. That's what if I'm the Lakers. To, to that's what I do. You're not trading him for today. You shouldn't, you shouldn't get Kyrie because Kyrie's on a contract year, so that wouldn't make sense to get Kyrie. Unless you're no, trying to get Kyrie, right because, no, you give Kyrie because you're going to resign Kyrie. See what I'm saying? He's you're that's the most risk, likely though. team that's going to resign. That's a risk, though. That that's a really huh? big risk. That's a really big risk. No, to, it's uh, not a risk. No, it's not a risk. Hold like, on, no, it's not a risk. That's the team he wanted to go to. Listen, yeah, that's it's, true. whether that's we true. like it or not, we have to be honest. Hold on, we have to be honest. Chilltown mm-hmm. says something that made a lot of sense about with LeBron, but here's a, here's another angle you can look at it at. You also have to have a guy with a mindset like Kyrie to get the ball up off, off LeBron James in those situations. Because if you're not aggressive, you don't have that mindset. Like AD, he's very passive around LeBron James. If he had a more aggressive mindset like Shaq did with Kobe, AD would be aggressive in every situation. So I just don't, I, I just don't blame it on LeBron. I blame it on AD because he ain't forceful enough asking for the ball when LeBron James is in the game. It's like he's afraid to act, to demand the ball from LeBron. But if you had a dude like Kyrie on the team, Kyrie, ask LeBron, can I get the ball? Can we go get the ball and do we what he let, do? And sometimes let you need guys like that. Go ahead, take it. Keep going. I'm sorry. Keep going. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you need guys like that. And those are the that's the type, that's the dude right there to me at this stage that fits the best with LeBron James. If you if you if you were to move AD and go get a guy like Cat, you have Cat who, who shoots 40 from the three. Who puts up damn near the same numbers AD puts up for his career? AD's better defensively, but if you do that and then you move Russ and whatever you need to move to pick and go get Kyrie, I like their chances a lot better because now you have a closer, you have a dude who can help close the deal with Kyrie. You have a big hurt? man that can How post up yeah, and yeah, shoot. He's, hurt. he's, hurt. he's, hurt. he's, he's yeah. out for about three or four yeah. weeks, but hey, listen, it's an even trade. If you get Cat and a couple picks, that's an even deal because guess why? The team rules ain't going nowhere like I told y'all this season. They're fraud. Well, what defense so, would they have? What defense well, would they that, have? That's where I was going with it. Go ahead. That's, well, that, that's, 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 where coach, that's where listen. That's where coaching comes in because now what I think Darvin Ham has done is I do think Darvin Ham does some good things schematically with his team to put them in good positions defensively. Sometimes you don't have to have all world defenders to play great a great level of defense. Sometimes it is it's schematics and just positioning and different things like an effort. You know what I'm saying? For me, like I said before, bro, if you look, if you look at that Lakers team, it's still some other tweaks that you can make. But I love if the Lakers make the deal for AD now. And everybody said, hey, this is the perfect time. Minnesota may be willing to listen for a cat deal now after seeing what that team looked like right now. And like I said, Brooklyn, we already know they're trying to come off Kyrie. If you can get your hands off Russ, maybe a couple – maybe they want those picks. i do it to keep Kyrie, sign him in the future. That way LeBron James feel better. He knows he's playing for something. And then I got you a big man that put up the same numbers as AD, but it's a better three-point shooter. That way you still got more space to operate if you're LeBron James versus with AD, who's a poor three-point shooter. Chill, well, chill. What was he going to say about the well, defense? I, well, the, no, number one, I was – and Ticket beat me to it. Well, we can't take Darvin Ham off the hook for this. And the reason why we can't take him off the hook for this, because as a coach, I mean, it's your job to it's your job to put together plans to get your big guys involved in the game. I'm not watched AD two nights ago. 
not two nights ago. I watched him last night. I watched him go four trips where he didn't forget shoot the basketball. He didn't touch the ball. Four trips. We can't have our best offensive player, our best big, our best rim protector, our best rebounder. The reason why he's doing this stuff is because he's involved in the offense the way he is. Now, we all know that often we all know that big guys, they play harder when you involve them more in the offense. Now, when I got a guy like Anthony Davis, who is our best offensive player, but doesn't touch the ball four straight trips, that's a problem. And I think that that's coaching. That's where you got to get these guys together. Yo, this guy hasn't touched the ball. This guy hasn't touched the ball. Get him involved in the offense. Now, I would like to see Anthony Davis more aggressive, but that's just not his makeup. So that's where the coach comes in and gets involved in that more. Now, in terms of moving off of him, in terms of moving off of him and moving him to Minnesota for Anthony Davis, well, now I'm moving my I'm moving my best rim protector. I'm moving my best interior offensive player. I'm moving my best interior defensive player to somebody else, and I'm getting a lot less back, and I'm, I'm basically getting the same thing, something similar offensively. That doesn't really make us that more much More consistency. Better. That Kill, doesn't really – More consistency and – That doesn't make that doesn't make us that much better. But what it does do is it does. Chill, give you hurt what, what it does, what it does do is it gives you. Some time. Time. It, do, Chill, right, it does. Give you some, my, point is, my point what, is, is that it does. My, my point is, is that it does make it does give us more value offensively, and it does keep AD and uh, it does keep Cat in the lineup. Who's a who's a guy who is more dependable, even though he's hurt right now. He is more dependable offensively because he's on the floor, not because he's a better offensive player. Than, than, than Anthony Davis, because I don't think that. I just think that he's more dependable. No doubt about that. Now, when I think about moving off of him and Kyrie, y'all going to roast me for this, but I love Russell Westbrook in Minnesota. I don't like Russell Westbrook in Minnesota. I love him in Minnesota. Why no, I, that? I, I love him. The reason why I love him in Minnesota, because them young dudes that they got, you're going to have to live with the turnovers tone, but Russell speed the game up. In addition to Russ speeding the game up, he's going to get them big guys involved. He's going to get Rudy involved. He's going to get Cat better shots. Mm -hmm. He's going to get Anthony Edwards better shots, right, because he's going to speed the game up. He's going to open up the offense for these guys even more. The problem with the Lakers is that the, the problem with Minnesota and the Lakers, they don't really have anything to give each other. I mean, they gave all of their picks. <laughs> they gave all of their picks to Utah, right, mm -hmm. and, the Lakers, and the Lakers gave all of their picks to New Orleans. So in terms of trading, yo, we really don't have a lot of leverage in terms of trading. So it's really wishful thinking more than anything. I liked your point. I just didn't like Russ getting Rudy involved. I think it's just extremely difficult to get Rudy involved in the offense. But everything else I agreed with. It's more Rudy, transition Rudy. Dog, than anything. More, more transition, in, okay. More, I, more in trend. Not, 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 not as much in the half court, even okay. though I do like it in the half court, but more in transition. I think Rudy will get more lives for sure in the yes, half court. More, yeah, definitely more in transition. Definitely more in transition. All right, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and dive into these super chats. Appreciate mm -hmm. everybody for you know coming with your super chats. Continue to throw them in here. I will get to them. Mars, as is your hoodie on. down? No. Oh, oh your no. hoodie's up. Oh, okay. You got a haircut? No. Oh, I'm not used to seeing your hair. It looks nice, man. Unhoodied Mars. It's a first for everything, right? <laughs> Speaking of Mars, Christopher Christopher D chimed in. He said Mars is Tim Duncan. Ticket is Kevin Garnett. That explains itself. Shout out Mars the Silent Killer. <laughs> Ron Morris chimed in. He said casual chat of the day. 2012 USA beats USA team. No, Which best. Team? Best. Best USA team. Oh, best USA team. <laughs> is is that the case? Do you guys believe that? Nah, that's a damn no. lie. They ain't better than Dream Team. That's a lie, bro. Nah, I and love I, that 2012 And team. I don't I'm think they're better than the 2018 neither. The 2012 team? Uh, let me look back because mm -hmm. let me let me refresh my memory because they had Darren Williams on that team, Kobe, KD, LeBron James. Uh, who else? Bro, that's not better. Than, that's they, they not better than Mike. Jones, so they're the best team. So. Bro, I'm taking I'm taking Mike Jordan and them dudes in any situation, bro. That's Michael Jordan. Let me see this. I don't know. I like that 2012 USA team. But I just think that, that that 2018 they were different because you know Bryant put the battery in their back. That's what Bryant did. Bryant got them dudes from here to there. He did do that. He 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 did walk in the door, and and they did that for him too, no doubt about that. Mm -hmm. But I think that they, I think that 2018, they were on a mission to prove. I mean, they hadn't won it in in years, and the fact that they got those dudes together and the way that they started rolling. And I don't think we give nearly as much credit since you on the subject of the Olympic team. I don't think we give nearly as much credit. You think that that gold medal game in 2012 was better than the gold medal game in 2008? That Spanish team was awesome. Mm -hmm. We don't give nearly as much credit to the team that they beat. That Spanish team with Gasol, 
But the Gasso brothers and Rudy and and, and Rudy yeah, Hernandez, that was an awesome Spanish team, and they handled them dudes. Mm -hmm. Handled them. I don't know. I just think I just think after going through the redeemed team, LeBron James, Kobe Bryant, uh, being a better version of themselves, uh, Kevin Durant there, uh, Darren Williams, Russell Westbrook, Chris Paul. I'm like, I'm just looking at that team. And I'm like, that was a crazy team, especially like LeBron James, Kevin Durant, and Kobe Bryant on the same team. It's just like I don't know. That team is different. You're, you're comparing, you're comparing team, 2012 though. to 2018. That dream team. Are you, are you, comp are you comparing Look at the dream team? Like. If, yeah, if we gonna compare teams, teams, your original dream team for dream a second. Team, you that, that, twelve to eight. I don't know. See when when you compare twelve to eight, Carmelo's better. James well, is Braun better. is better. Mm -hmm. KD, Kobe's. um, sorry, KD's great. KD's great. He on that team. Sure. I yeah, think yeah, yeah. Westbrook is better. And then when I look at the bigs, I think Tyson Chandler's better than uh, what's his name, Carlos Boozer. Um, um they had Dwight on that team. They? You got Kevin Love on that team. You got Chris Paul on that team. Who's they better? Didn't have Dwight. They didn't have Dwight. In 2008? Oh, in, in, 2008. They did have Dwight in 2008. Yeah, 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 Tyson's yeah. not better than Dwight. No, he's no, not better not. than Dwight. No, he's no, not he's better not. than Dwight. Not in so 2008. I'm just saying you have a prime Carmelo, LeBron. You've got 23-year-old Durant, 22-year-old Harden. Like, I just – I don't but know. They had D-Wade in 2008. Now, Kobe's 33, though. so that's, that, that's, that's the downside. Kobe's – Kobe's, you know, four well, he on Kobe's on the other side of what he used yeah, to be. He's on the other he's side. He's still right? awesome, he's no doubt about that. I don't know. I'm Ticket, looking at the team. Ticket thinking. brought up Ticket brought up the '92 team. The reason why I ain't bringing up the '92 team is because whenever you're talking about great Olympic teams, like the '92 team is out. Like we can't, we we can't. I can't talk about them. I can't because it, it's everybody else and it's them for me. I'm not gonna hold you, bro. Yeah, 2000, don't do it. Yeah, yeah, don't do it. I'm gonna say. Yeah. I'm gonna say. Yeah, I'm gonna say. Bro, I'm telling y'all right, right now, Magic Johnson, Larry Bird ain't slowing nobody down on those teams. I'm telling y'all right now. I'm telling y'all right now. Larry Bird was Larry Bird at that point was was done, but yes. but that team. You still had Scotty. You still had you still Mike. Had, you had Scotty. You had Mike. You had Berkeley. You had Mike Shore. Barkley, that's 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 Barkley that's on defense. Barkley on defense. Come on, bro. Yeah, David Robinson and Patrick Ewing. No, hold on. Malone, 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 Malone. But who they gonna play? They gonna play Magic more and the and Bird. The dream team is this. You're right about Stop Magic them. and Bird. They weren't at that point in their careers. They weren't stopping anybody. But top to bottom, there's no weakness. Whereas those twelve teams, 2008, for example, had Carlos Boozer. Had, there was some weaknesses. There was, you know, Carlos Boozer, Boozer was nice. You disrespecting Carlos. Imagine Boozer. Carlos Boozer trying Carlos to Carlos Boozer was nice. I like Imagine Carlos. Carlos Boozer uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, he ain't gonna do it. Carlos Boozer was nice. We don't gonna act as if he a slouch though. We are not gonna do that. Uh, Carlos Boozer was nice. We are not doing that. Michael Jordan, bro. That's 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 the equalizer right there. That is the end all be all. Is that you got Mike in his prime? He refusing to lose. It's just that simple. And why are you talking about Magic? Like Magic was talking. just Magic was still in his prime. He was thirty three no, years old. Man, Magic still getting cooked by Chris Paul, Dwayne Wade, yeah, LeBron James, thing, Kobe Bryant, all, all of them. They no, cooking them. No, the they ain't cooking them the way they will cook him. One thing we what? know for the one thing we know for the ninety two team. The ninety two team struggled with fast guards. Yes, they did. Struggled with fast guards. That's why that college team. I think Bobby Hurley was cooking them, but. They had the ability to adjust because then you just move Jordan and Pippen down, and then all that speed is negated because that's what they did. So, yes, when Magic's on the floor, he's getting burnt by faster guards 100%, but they can adjust for that because they have so much talent. But these aren't just regular faster guards. These is, hey, these is hey, dudes. Hey, no. this Chris is the, these are so dudes. dudes. Chris Paul, you said Chris Paul? Chris Paul, Kobe Chris Bryant, Paul, Wayne Wade. Jordan ain't locking up, Jordan ain't locking up Chris Paul. Johnson would have put that little boy in no, 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 no. I'm talking, you talking about them struggling Magic against, you talking about them struggling against faster. Hey, 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 ticket, hey, ticket. You know, when you see, you see them lions, when they grab they, the cubs by that little fur on the back yeah, of their neck. That's what, that's what Magic would have did to Chris Paul. Nah, Chris Paul would have hold his own. You, 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 Chris Paul, like what the hell is it? I wish. When you, them, when, you, when, you see them, when you see them lions pick up their cubs by that little fur, that's what Magic would have did to Chris Paul and put for him right to the box. I, I, like, I, I wish we had a time machine so that we could really have these. Oh my goodness. So that we could Come really see this unfold. Who is, who who is Chris Paul guarding? Who is Chris Paul guarding? 
Duh. Yeah, could he guard magic? No. Y'all could he guard not, Jordan? No. Y'all not gonna act as if Chris Paul can't defend. Let's not do this. Who's he gonna defend on Zach? He's gonna deal with six nine magic. Who holds John Stockton? Who's John Stockton? Who is he gonna be nasty? 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 Who is he gonna be <laughs> all, right, all right y'all next super chat my man cb1 he's speaking of all these guys he said stock kobe bird ben tim or j kid mj braun draymond in the dream who you guys taking you have MJ and Braun on the same team. You pick oh, them. Leave that up. Leave that up. And, 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 and Elijah. Bro, Elijah in the start, bro. Bro. Not this is something different, ticket. This is something, this is something different. different. This is something different. Yeah, second team. So Jason Kidd, Jordan, Braun, Draymond, and Hakeem Olajuwon. Their defense what, what, wipes some. What are we talking about? As good as as good as Tim Duncan is, you know how and as good as Stockton and Kobe Bryant are, no doubt. I think that kid with Jason Kidd. Yeah, first of all, in any scenario, in any scenario, in any scenario, in any scenario, you put MJ and Braun on the same team, they win. Forget it. Or MJ and Hakeem Olajuwon on the same team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, what are just, we talking about? Yeah, no. Mo moving along, y'all. Right. Leaf Diggy chimed in. He said, Ron, appreciate you and Dub. Shout out on Gridiron. Good work <laughs> smoking Kevin Durant Jr. too. Elder got finesse too. Oh. Quick question. Is anybody else tired of the 1D stars in the A? I don't know what that means, the 1D stars. Uh, yeah, I'm, you got to translate. <laughs> um, anybody I know? know? I, 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 know I, I assume, assume one-dimensional one one dimensional stars, stars in Atlanta. Is it? Is that what you mean? One one dimensional stars in Atlanta? Well, I, that's what I'm assuming. The, the Atlanta uh, Hawks don't have one. The association. That oh. part I can get with. Now the, well, the, the one dimensional because no. because essentially I've always felt like a, a dude that only does one thing or only plays on one side of the ball. I always felt like mm -hmm. they were specialists. I always felt like that. So like Dennis Rodman was a specialist. As good mm -hmm. as he was, he was just a specialist. So if you are elite at this and you're not even average at something else, like Luca, for example, I think Luca is a specialist. I think Luca is a specialist on the offensive side of the basketball. That's because on defense, I watch Luca and I watch other teams hunt him. They go after him. They go after him defensively. You can't be, you can't be considered a complete player when other teams are going after you that consistently and that often, like they do in Dallas. So when but, I think, about, sorry, however, finish, 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 finish. So when I when I so when I think about guys like Luca or or, or Dennis, not not. I don't mean Luca is the same player, but when I think about guys who only thrive on one side of the basketball, I always felt like those guys were specialists more than they were complete players. I, so is it just offensive defense? That is, very much, that is very much a our generation thought, though, chill, because today that's where the emphasis on, right? In our day, it was 50-50. You had to play offense and defense or you didn't get on the court. Today, it's like 80-20, 90-10. We look at the offensive player, and, and I think – a guy like Luca, for example, or anyone else that you're going to say is offensive oriented. Well, that's their that's what they do. They tell them go play offense, take a break on defense, and you have defensive guys. I, I just think that's where we've gone as a league. Is there's more of those one dimensional kind of guys, but that's on purpose. I'm confused. So is this offense and defense, and that's it for you? Offense and defense. Because you said offensive specialist, so like that's basically scoring and playmaking. And then you said he's only a specialist because he's great offensively, not defensively. So that's what I'm asking. Like when you're saying specialist, is it just? I offense? think that was. I think that was the question. Is one dimensional meaning they only do offense or they're only defense? I, I think. No, I mean one dimensional to me is one guy is a guy who just relies on like one aspect. So if a guy's just relying mainly on his scoring, that's one dimensional to me. So you want to call Carmelo Anthony one dimensional? That's fine. Yeah. But Luka Doncic, I can't classify as one dimensional because of the playmaking aspect he brings. I don't think he's one dimensional dub more than I think he's a specialist because he plays on one side of the basketball. That's what I think. So is Magic Johnson a specialist too? Well, Magic actually did play defense. He wasn't he wasn't all league, he wasn't an all league defender like Chris Paul was. He wasn't an all league defender like Dennis Johnson was, but he did play defense. It wasn't that good. He was better than average. And and and, and the reason why he was Swagger. better than average, because back then you had to be better than average in order to be an elite guard. He was better than Steph Curry. Do you fight that? 
Dub? Mm, yeah, I'll, I, I, won't, I wouldn't fight that. He would be better than Stephen Curry. I just find it, it's just a weird way of thinking in my eyes. Wait, and y'all don't call, uh, Dirk, so Dirk Nowitzki's, but, Dirk Nowitzki's but, a specialist. On, Carmelo's but, a specialist. But Chill, Town, Chill won't call Steph Curry a specialist, though. And Steph Curry, play, he's one-dimensional. He played offense. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Why, why, why wouldn't I do that? I feel like he's. Yeah, I feel like he calls has, Steph Curry. I feel like he is too. You just said all. Right. You just said it all. Right. You just said exactly. it all, Luca. Absolutely. But, so why not? Why isn't it the same thing? Right. So I'm saying, keep it saying. But say, but I if you're gonna that. say that, and I'm not saying I'm saying this. I'm saying what you said. Right. And I. So, this so you first, think Steph Curry is a specialist too? This is the this is the first time you hearing it. I've said that before. Yes. This is the first time you're hearing it. This ain't news. This is news to you. I disagree with you. Combo guard. So, uh, yeah, well, I, I disagree with him as far as I, I do. I do think I do think that we lack appreciation for guys who play both sides of the ball because I think that, for example, let me give y'all one thing. I think Paul George should be ranked higher on a lot of our list than what he is. Uh, because when you play defense, you expend a lot of energy. And if you didn't play defense and you just played offense and you're a great offensive player like Paul George, you could average 30, 30, 32 points a couple seasons. But when you expend a lot of energy on defense, it zaps away from your offense. So I do think we should praise those type of guys more because they sacrifice offense because they're playing defense on some of the top players in the league. Every right. single night throughout but, uh, a but I majority think, I think, I think uh, of their that. career. Think it, think it. Don't we say that if one person's a little bit better offensively, but the other person plays like you do with Giannis, like elite defense? Don't you rate him higher than someone who's just elite offensively? But, who, but nobody He's does that for Paul, nobody does that for Paul George. Nobody does that for Paul George. And, and listen, but, Paul George had his team a game away from the NBA Finals against right. a super team. We forget that they were a game. No, no, they were minutes away. From an NBA Finals, Paul George could have led his team. That injury, I think we've forgotten how good he was pre-injury. Not that he's bad since, but no, oh. he was no, no. He almost won an MVP after the injury with OKC if he didn't get hurt that That's year facts. at the end. That's facts. But he so, got hurt. So what all I'm saying is, but we never, we never gave them the dudes who played those both ends like that. We never gave them that type of appreciation. But we will praise Luka Doncic. We will give Steph Curry this all-world praise. When those dudes only play one side of basketball, and the reason why is because that's the era that we live in. That's Ticket, and that was the point that I started with. We, we live, we live in an era of, live in. Yeah. we live in, we live in an era of guys being more offensively minded than they are being a more of a complete player. I've said this countless times. Like I said, Ticket, this is the first time you're hearing it, which is too bad. But this is the first time you're hearing it. I've said it in the past. The cheese is not extra, my man. It comes with the burger. So if you're going to be a great player, you're going to be a great player on both sides of the basketball. If you're only good doing this or you're only good doing that, I can't put you in the same category with this guy who does both of these great or who does both of these better than you. I can't put you in that category. Now, when you're talking about Paul George, the, the separated with Paul George is the fact that when he gets into the postseason, even though what he almost did, that's I'm not going to say it's an anomaly, but what he almost did, that's something different because more times than not, he hasn't delivered in the postseason. That's why he hasn't viewed like he really should be, even though he is elite on both sides of the basket. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. So hold why is it Kobe better he than didn't deliver, Hold on, two times. He didn't deliver. Yeah, hold on. He didn't deliver or they didn't do what you said they didn't do for LeBron and build good enough teams around him in Indiana. Which one was it? Well, they actually did build good enough teams around him. In well, he got hurt in Indiana. Oh, you a so goddamn liar. You was a goddamn they lie. You a oh, my bad, y'all. My bad for the language. You a damn lie, man. You a damn You a sip here. Tell them damn sorry ass lies, man. Cut it out, man. Indiana, some, you Indiana, Indiana thing was whack? Roy, Roy Hibbert was the second great best player. Hey, yo, I swear before God right now. If LeBron had the same roster, if LeBron had the same roster Paul George had in Indiana, this fool would be up here calling the cops, talking about a crime was committed. So stop, cut the bullshit, man. You was a damn lie, man. man. You a damn lie. That, that Indiana Pacers team was way worse than any team they had with LeBron James when they was one of those 60-something games. Cut it so out, man. That, so, so that team that he had in Cleveland in 17-18, that Indiana team was better than that team? That Indiana team was worse than that? Oh, the man had Roy Hibbert was the second best player. Once again, that 2018 team, that 2017-18 team, they were worse. They were better than that the Indiana man's team. second best player Once was again, Roy Hibbert, 2017-2018. 
That 2017 okay. or 18. Okay, chill down. Don't say that. I'm going to smoke just, your ass right you now. Ain't you ain't smoking nothing. Tell we me just start, already, hold on. You already tell said me this. Hold on, chill down. What are you talking chill about? Tell me to hold on, chill down. Tell me the start lineup for Paul George's team the year they play LeBron James in the playoffs and they win seven games. I'm not going to lie. That Pacers team is a little bit comparable if we look at everything. No, no, it's not. Done. Hold on. Hold on, Doug. They, no way, yeah. Chill, George, chill. Don't, 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 no, 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 no. Right, chill. Ahead, ahead. Don't look at no notes. Don't look at no notes. See, your any ass is cooked. I'm not looking, I'm not looking at any notes. You can't I'm even tell me who's on that roster, boy. I'm, I'm not looking at any point. You know what I can do? I can tell you who was on the I can tell you who was on the 17, 18 roster. But I, I, I can do that. However, and you talking yeah, about the year they lost to Miami in seven? Yeah, the year that they lost to Miami in seven. But hold on, Tone. Hold on, Tone. Tone, yeah. ticket. You tell us who they who, who we had on that roster in, in, in the in the 12 13 season when they when they went seven games. Tell us that, and I'll tell you who his starting five was when he went seven games with the Boston Celtics in the Eastern Conference Championship. Go ahead, ticket. I'm listening. We talk about being bro. cooked. Bro, bro, don't bro, bro. Don't you sit up here. Do not you sit up here lying. Shit. You sit up here. Hold on. Do it, take it. You sit do up here lying to me. This is Chill what you're doing right you're now. You're lying to me. You keep calling me a liar. First of all, this is what this you man do. told this the lie. This, this, this man told the lie. This, this man told the lie. This ticket will do. This man told the lie here. Hold on, y'all. This is what he's diverting. This is what he's doing, guys. He's doing this. Hold on, I had to mute both of y'all because y'all just screaming over each other. Are they talking about one? One of y'all scream and then the other person scream. Chill, chill. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll, I'll give you the players. This man just told uh, this. Just this man just told this. Told this, 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 this year? He he just told it. The year they went seven games with LeBron James, Chris Bosh, and D Wade. Bro, yeah. the, no. you, this man just said that team. Hold on, Hill, this, Stevenson and and Hibbert. Hibbert was right. Hold on, right. Lance Stevenson. Who who else? Lance Stevenson. David West. Yeah, David, David West. West. Yeah, West. Yeah, George Hill. Hill. How about Danny Granger? Hey, don't, don't, don't leave Danny Granger. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. No, 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 no. So, Danny Granger wasn't there. LeBron, LeBron James went to the – hold on. Watch this. LeBron James went to the finals with George Hill, right? Starting, right? Five years later. Okay. J.R. Smith. That's when he was better. Hold on. George Hill was better five years later. He was early in his career when he played with Paul George. Oh, no, no, no. He was better. Tell me. He was better at that point than he was with Paul George. There's no way you're telling us that. Nah, Bro, he was, starting, that. he was starting for no a team that went to the that. NBA Finals. There's no way you're selling us that. No way. You, Bro, you, can't. you can't right? use the starting for a team that went to the NBA Finals and then say you had a more start of my bed. Bro, I'm going to say it again. I'm going to say this again. I'm going to say this again. Hold on. This is what I'm saying. Calls me a liar and then he can't prove George Hill was a different player after he left Indiana. He was a better player after he went to the Spurs, right or wrong? He was in the Spurs right before or wrong? Indiana. Yeah, he was in the Spurs. He, Spurs he, he got the traded Spurs for and Kawhi Leonard. Yeah, he got traded for Kawhi Leonard on draft night. No, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. No, no, no. I'm, what I'm saying is, hold on. After he left, hold on. After he was in Indiana, he was a better player is what I'm trying to say. After he left Indiana. Then based when he more. was in Indiana, right or wrong? Based on more. He was better based on more. Bro, based on his trajectory, his career, based on what you know about George Hill's career, do you think he was a better player in Indiana or after Indiana? I think he was better in Indiana than Cleveland. Man, Cleveland. Man. Right here. Cleveland. Once again, once Cleveland. again, let's get better. Let, he was let, way let, better in Indiana, bro. Forget, forget Indiana for a second, Ron. Once again, calling me a liar, which is what you're doing, yet you can't prove it. Stop calling me a liar, Ticket. I, you, you just Stop said, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. You just Mother. said that a team worse than what LeBron James had in Cleveland when they won 60 no, games. What hold I, on. With the Pacers, hold on. Hold on. You now, just said, said – hold on. Go. You just said – you just said – come on. This man just said they built a good team around Paul George. That's what he said. Right or wrong, Floyd? Am I right or wrong? Is that I, – I wasn't listening. Is that, that, that what that, Hold on. Did, hold on. Did Chilltown just one, say – One more time for the, built, time for the people in the cheap seats. I'm going to say this one more time for the people in the cheap seats. Chilltown said they built a good team around Paul George. Was that That's Indiana what he team that he went seven games with against the Miami Heat, was yeah. that team better than the 17-18 Cleveland Cavaliers? No. 17, you still had Kevin – hold on. You still had Kevin Love. You still had what you call it. You still had um the, the new six men of the year right now, I believe, uh, who just won six men of the year the other year. Clarkson was uh, not Clarkson. starting. He was not you still starting. had what? Keep going. Keep going. I'm sorry. Keep going. Yeah, you still had Jeff Green was playing really good that year. Keep you going. still had um who was they? Because somebody had got hurt. I, I I can't remember who got who got hurt on that team. Somebody got hurt that year. Seven, 17, 18 Cavs were LeBron James, Kevin Love, 
Isaiah Thomas for 15 games. Jordan Clarkson, Dwayne Wade yeah, yeah. for a minute. Do the finals. Do the finals. Jeff Green. Playoffs. George Hill, George Hill, Larry Nance, Larry Nance Jr., Kevin Love, Joe Chill, 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 Joe you're gonna sit here and tell me that that five was Trip, better oh, than the end. No, yes, 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 no. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Do That's everybody in this chat? Hold on. Do every, hold on. Do everybody right here in this in this chat think that Tristan Thompson at that time was playing better than what Roy Hill was playing with, with no. uh, Paul no. George? No. Bro, Tristan Thompson no. got no. Tristan Thompson no. got eighty million no. dollars. Hold on. No. Tristan Roy Thompson was a walking dodo. Tristan Thompson was playing better than Tristan. He made the All Star team that year. The All Star team. He was a defensive guy. I do hear you. I heard everything you said, Ticket. Your logic doesn't work. You're not hearing me. Your logic doesn't work. All I'm saying is, hold on, bro. Bro, what was the headlines that year? That Roy Hibbert was atrocious. The man went like that year. That year. That was that year. That was that year. In that year, in that year, Roy Hibbert went. Everybody would love Roy Hibbert. Tristan Thompson was six and six. In the playoffs, that you don't compare those two guys in those. Okay, so, what, so what was the situation? Hold, hold on, you got the numbers right there in front of you. What was the numbers? I don't have any numbers. Uh, no, I'm talking I, about fluent. No, I'm talking about fluent. Fluent called numbers. What was the numbers for that LeBron team? Who was the second leading scorer on that team? Kevin Love. In the playoffs, it was Kevin Love. Like I'm in, in the playoffs, it was Kevin Love. With he was like fifteen and eleven. I think he was like fifteen and ten. Yeah, fifteen and ten. Something like that. And who else they had? So once again, ticket. I'm gonna run the five um, down for you. George Hill at the one. LeBron, hold on. Smith at the two. No, no, hold on. Ticket wants. Ticket wants. Ticket. I know how <laughs> ticket thinks. He wants the 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 the, the scorers. You know, so right. LeBron is 34 a right. game. Then he's got J.R. Smith at eight a game. Love right. at 14 a game. Two guard, by right. the way. George Hill at nine a game. Right. Uh, Kyle Corver at eight a game and Tristan Thompson at six a game. Th those are the oh, starters. So, you so, want to so, know? No, wait, no, 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 Oh no, you don't want to do that. You want me to do that? Because you want, wait, wait, wait. Floor, floor, floor. Hold up. You want to know? Wait, 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 wait. You want to know what Roy Hibbert did against the Miami Heat squad that you're no, complaining about? Do you want to know what he did against Miami Heat? Oh. What did he average? Oh, no, man. Please. Well, no, hold on, hold on. I'm going to tell you. 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 This is what I'm asking you to do for me, Dub, because I'm getting old, man. This is what I want you to do for me, Dub. What you're going to do for me is. You're gonna stop because I don't want to see this. Please, oh, no, 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 no. real quick. LeBron had one double-digit score teammate, which was Kevin Love at 15 a game. Paul George, who was averaging 19, had George Hill at 14, Roy Hibbert at 17, Lance Stevens, sorry, uh, David West at 16. In the playoffs, hold on, in the playoffs. Yes, yeah. in the playoffs. Yeah. He put up 22 points. He put up 22. He put up 20. Paul George in the Miami. He put up. He put up 22 points a game. Uh, while Paul George had 19 on 55% from the field with 10 rebounds per game and a block. Ticket, I'm trying to I'm, make I'm sense. And ticket, you were, ticket, you were around during this time. You sit here, you going to honestly sit here and say to me that that 12 13 team that was in a dog fight with the Miami Heat wasn't, uh, is that 12, that 17 18 team that James was on is better than them? Are you really no, sitting there trying to tell us that? No, you guys got, got me on that one because I was—I remembered wrong. I thought that was the year Roy Hibbert okay. went like four straight no, games. That was that was the years good. after. Yeah, that was the years. Yeah, after. That, 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 that was the no. They played my no. They played. Hold on. They played my no. Twenty-two and ten. I guess the no, they played my no. Against the no, Heat, they played my yeah. He killing them. He was killing them so bad. No, they played them two years in a row. And the next year, now the fourteen, now the fourth, now the thirteen, fourteen season, Roy Hibbert was garbage. I think he had a game. That's the season. My bad. My bad. That's the season I was talking about. My bad. My bad. I think he had a game. I think he had like two games where he didn't score in two games, something like that. He was garbage, no doubt about that. He went from twenty to ten in a year. Oh my god. Yeah, he had he had David West. He had David West. He had David West. Quick. He had David West in the media saying, "We need you." Quote: "We need him to join the fight." That's what he yeah. had him in the, in the media. Yeah, that's that's how bad he went ten and seven. Yeah, You're ten great. and seven against the Heat. He got paid, and it was completely different. So and shot yeah. forty percent. What the hell? Yeah, he's gone. The, the <laughs> drop off. Roy Hibbert's drop off was tragic. That was year. 
because they played Miami that year too, I believe. That was the year they was thinking yeah. about. Because that was the year. That was the year. That was the year. I think that they went up in the series. I'm not. I'm, I think they went up, and then Stephen A. went on TV going off on D Wade, telling him he had to step up in that series, and then they came back and won four straight. I think three straight. That's correct. All right, moving off Roy Hibbert, oh, yeah, three straight, three straight, George yeah, and the Pacers. Yeah. Okay. Let's get back into these super chats. My man Arito chimed in. He said we need a chill versus Elder two. I'm down to do it again. With more rounds. I, I, that was good stuff with him. I, I I really dug that. No doubt. I'm definitely down to do it again with him. That was awesome. No doubt. Speaking I, of I, which, uh, Elder chimed in uh, with the Super Chat as well. He said, I want a formal apology for the setup in the debacle <laughs> on Black Friday. Yo, Elder. What was the setup? My bad, Elder. <laughs> no, he said he won, and they said he lost. Yeah, Ron read the... He read the votes wrong. That's all that was. He read them wrong. Yeah. Or he. Got I mean, I I read I read what is I, what I was told. That's all okay. I did. But good job, Elder. Congrats, uh, Chill. Moving on to the next super chat. Greatest came through with one. He said nobody groomed Kobe. NBA media, both Laker coaches and teammates were against Kobe prospering from day one. Everyone pushed for LeBron to be great. Mm-hmm. Five is greater than four. Mm. Facts, Chill Town. That was actually an amazing uh, poem, or whatever you want to call <laughs> it. I like to say a poem. It's a haiku. It's a haiku. Haiku, yeah. Hey, I want hey, it to look. sound. I want it to hey, sound hey, nice. Hey, Fluent. You know what made hey. Kobe so great? They tried to cancel him out to Colorado, and Kobe showed you how strong he was. He got stronger I, after that. I have That's a question. I have a question. I, I do have a question though. What's your What's your value of two-way players and everything like that. You went through a whole soliloquy or monologue, whatever you call it, about the two-way players. I don't understand how Magic Johnson is better than Kobe Bryant. Um, I didn't say that. I no, 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 no. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. Oh, you're talking I, about me. Yeah, I don't understand when you just went through this whole little uh, uh, haiku of <laughs> of Kobe, uh, of two-way players. Guys mm-hmm. don't want to play two-way anymore. Uh, and it seems as if you value that highly. I don't understand I do. how Kobe Bryant is not better than Magic Johnson. Well, I do value Kobe Bryant as a great player, but when I think about what Magic did, not on a, not just on the offensive and defensive end of the floor, how that impacted his unit more than Kobe Bryant did with his unit. You you talked about Kobe Bryant coming in, in a, a situation that's perfect for him. Wouldn't you argue that Magic Johnson he worked in a situation that's perfect for him as well? Walked in, walked into the walked into the corner office. Well, let's know. Whoa, 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 whoa. Walked. Hey, take, whoa, Tom, there's whoa, no whoa, way you can even whoa, argue whoa. that he walked into the no way. He walked into the. You You said Kobe Bryant. You said Kobe Bryant walked into the I, office, right? No, Magic Johnson walked into the eighth floor corner office. Oh, corner office. I, I just I disagree. No, he he was that unit that Magic Johnson jumped on. That was he was exactly what they needed. They didn't have to do anything else for him. He was everything that they needed. Perfect mm-hmm. for what he was doing. You got your big man. You got your dirty work guy. You got your wing defenders. You got your wing. You got your wing scorers. You got your post scorers. Everything. Magic was what they were missing. Once Magic again, was what they were missing, but it's he didn't walk into a good situation in the sense that the coach wanted him to play power forward. The teammates didn't want him running the point. Kareem didn't want to run, play a fast-paced game, and he was the leader and the captain of that team. Right. So he did not walk into a good situation. He walked into good personnel, and right. eventually with the right coaching and the changes that they made. That's what makes yes, it a good system. That's what, that's what makes it no, a good situation, walked, he Tom. In, and they all embraced him with open arms. But that's what makes it a good that's the work. difference, but that's the difference, though, Tone, because they had they had to, they had to convince had to them because Magic was already that dude. We're gonna turn this thing around and we're gonna switch this thing up for your skill set because we're gonna speed the game up. Not only we're gonna speed the game up because Jabbar could be better when we speed the game up. Michael Cooper can be better when we speed mm-hmm. the game up. Norm Nixon can be better. That was that was that was tailored to sure Magic Johnson's free. game. I'm just saying it. It didn't. It, I'm just saying it. Didn't and by the way, the year that they got Magic, Jabal won the league MVP. It was, it was so. So was when work. when we when you brought up the point about Magic and what he did for his team, I could I would be willing to argue that it was easier for Magic Johnson to have that impact on his team, mainly because of the personnel, him being the missing link. And I think it's more impressive with Kobe Bryant coming into the league and the coach not really wanting him starting like that because he had a problem with starting an all-star guard, I think in Eddie Jones or Nick Van Exel. And he had a problem with starting him over guys like that. And Kobe had to earn his way through that. On top of that, finding a way to compliment uh, Shaquille O'Neal at a very young age where everybody didn't really believe in him. Then losing Shaquille O'Neal, fighting his way, 
to get uh, uh, to the playoffs. Then as soon as he gets help that benefits him, he goes to three straight finals. Mm -hmm. To me, that's more impressive. Uh, and that road is more impressive to me for Kobe Bryant than Magic Johnson coming into the situation that was sustainable for his whole entire career. What did the What did the Lakers do before Magic? Uh, I think they went. Didn't they like? So didn't they go they to the got, finals? Didn't so they go no, to the finals? So the year that they, they got your, the year that they got your body missed the playoffs. Two years later, they went in the West Finals. Then they made the playoffs oh, again, God. and then they made the playoffs again, and then they got you, then they got Magic, and they were in the NBA Finals eight mm -hmm. times in eight times in, in I'm sorry nine times in twelve years. And the constant was again, it was Jabal. And what they was doing was they were switching guys out. So they take out uh Norm Nixon and they bring in Byron Scott, right? So they take out uh Jamal Wilkes and 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 Bob McAdoo and, and, and insert AC Green, guys like that. So and they kept that fast pace up. So they built that unit, they built that unit that was conducive to what Magic was doing. Now Kobe, on the no, other I hand, I want to be clear because he was saying Magic came in and it's like it was you guys won't make it seem like it was just Oh, it was just everything was great and lovely, and he walked into like KD into the Warriors. No, he made yeah. that team go. All the ingredients Magic did for the Lakers, he made like, that. You have team to, go. You have to give credit. You have Without, to give credit where credit is due. Doesn't happen. One hundred percent. That team doesn't happen. But, but uh, we can also acknowledge the fact that Magic did benefit from that as well. Of, of, of course, you have to. Yes, he benefits. So, so it's a common ground. So they both benefited him? from each other. 100%. Him, Everybody's taking Kobe. that away. The yeah, same no, way, okay. without Kobe, Shaquille O'Neal doesn't go three straight. No, same way, I, without Kobe, the Lakers I, I, don't I, I, go three straight. Hey, 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 I just want to ask Chill Town one question. Hey, Chill, I'm going to ask you one question I always wanted to ask you, bro. Uh, if that year that Kobe got Powell in them and they went to the finals and LeBron was supposed to be there, if LeBron gets to the finals and plays against Kobe, who do you think wins those finals? I think the Lakers beat them. I think they handled them, as a matter of fact. Hold on, why the hell do you have great. Kobe Bryant ranked? Hold on, why do you have Kobe Bryant ranked uh, under LeBron? Then? If you think that Kobe Bryant was that great, why do you have him ranked underneath LeBron James? <laughs> no, 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 no. Let's let's stay let's stay off LeBron James real quick. Let's stay on Magic Johnson. Let's stay on Magic Johnson, please. No, no, no. I just want a simple. I just want a simple answer. I, he just said he thinks. Listen, he didn't say he thinks they would beat them. He said I he think thinks they would watch them. I'm here for this. Them. I would like an answer. So, to listen, listen. They, they, they the Lakers, hold on. That well. Lakers team, hold on. They didn't watch the Orlando Magic. They didn't they beat them in five the games. Celtics. They beat them in five games. They didn't watch them though. Those were five close games. They didn't watch them. They beat them in five games. They handled them. Those were five close games. Did you they watch still the handle them? They still handled them. They still handled them in five games. I'm saying this. Hold on. Game one came down to the wire to the last shot. Remember that in LA? Yep. You remember that fluent? Yep. All them things was close. Yep. All them said to you was this. When you say watch, I think you're talking about you, I'm taking it like it ain't gonna be close. I they, think they, they went seven them. with the Boston Celtics the second time. So I'm asking you, if you're saying that LeBron James, who won 60 and 66 games, would have been washed by Kobe Bryant, why the hell do you have Kobe Bryant 11 or all time? That's all I want to know. Very simple. When we talk about the top, my top 10 players. My top 10 players, I could defend every last one of them. So you talk about LeBron James. LeBron James did more with less than what Kobe Bryant did. If, you, if you're talking about championships, and you're talking about getting – you're talking about getting deep in, you're talking about getting – you're talking about getting deep into the playoffs. You're talking about dragging teams to the playoffs, right? So we're talking about a guy in LeBron James. He never lost in the first round, Tom. Never lost in the first round ticket. Not one time. And he, he never lost in the first round with, with inferior teams. Not one time did he lose in the first round. Yes, he did. 2021. Right up until up until 2021, he had never lost in the first round. Not one time did he lose in the first round. So we're talking 20, almost right. 20 years. LeBron, LeBron fans lost. with the Lakers are going to be like Jordan fans with the Wizards. Yes, sorry, go on. Right. So so when you talk about Le when you talk about LeBron James, he did more than Kobe Bryant did, not just individually, but not not just from when, from his team, but also as a player individually. But you said, hold on, you said he did more or less, but he played with way more talent than Kobe did overall. If you think about it, Kobe Bryant had Shaq, and the rest of them dudes was role players pretty much. Four times. I mean, right. outside of that, he played with – he played with – hold on one second, Doug. He, 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 he played with the soul. He played with the soul, and everybody else was role players. Right. LeBron James had teams where he had multiple multiple – all-time greats on the same team. LeBron James so, never played with the best player in the game. Oh, LeBron James never played with the best game. He, LeBron James never played with the best player in the game. Never. Not one year did he play with the best player in the, in the game. Kobe Bryant had – Kobe, Hold on. Kobe you could have made an argument. Hold on. You could have made an argument when he went over there and played with D-Wade. D-Wade was playing at, at one of the best – D-Wade was never the best player in the game. Shaquille O'Neal was the best player in the game. That, don't, he, not at that time. Shaq wasn't the best player in the game when he with, with Kobe Bryant. Are you sure? 
I'm saying at that at that time he oh, went you over there. No. That, so, so, so them four at the time Kobe and Shaq years. was hold on. What year are you talking about? The year they won the championship? Those four trips in five years. Are you telling me that Shaq wasn't the best player in the game? And at any point, I'm was he the best player on. in the game? Not, oh, oh, oh no. At some ticket, point, he's ticket. At some point, what hold you on. Ticket is at some point, hold on, bro. 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 At some points, I could tell you, I thought Kobe Bryant was better than Shaq on them teams. Shaq, bro, listen. Shaq, like Elder Cook, you. Shaq will get to the finals and play against a nobody on the on the New Jersey Nets yep. and average thirty six. But yep. where was that? Where was that thirty six at when he was playing against Tim oh, Duncan? I'm glad you mentioned that. Thirty six. I'm, 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 I'm glad you mentioned that too, Ticket. I'm, I'm I'm glad you. I mentioned mean, the that. Spurs had two bigs. Let, 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 right. And hold on. Talk about. Talk about. And the Spurs, about, had, about, and the Spurs, and the Spurs about, had some of the best wing defenders in the league that Kobe was frying and Bruce Brown and all them guys. Yeah, so yeah, what? That that, that, that is was, absolutely that, a fact. So why you? So so why you leaving out the fact that when they played them, if I'm not mistaken, I just want to make sure that I remember this 100. percent so I believe it was the 2001 West Finals. Uh -huh. I believe it was. I believe it was the 2001 West Finals. I think Shaq in that series. I think he went 30. I think he went 33 and, and 17 in that series, right? So and, and when they played the and when they played the the Sacramento Kings, when they swept them out the playoffs, I think Shaq went 33 and 17 in that series also. So the idea, because the because the because the argument was he was carrying Shaq to the he was carrying Shaq to the finals. I'm having a difficult time with a guy averaging 30 33 and 17 being carried. I'm having a difficult time with a guy averaging 30 and 13 uh, being carried in a playoff series. I don't, I don't think, think that's going on. You talk that about Kobe. You talking about Kobe carrying Shaq, right? That's yeah, that, that, and and, and that, so, that was the that was the logic, and that was not going on. So, hold on, chill, hold on, chill. Let me let me answer that, please. Let me answer that. So, I think I agree with you. Saying that Shaq was being carried by Kobe Bryant is that's what, that's what definitely is definitely is definitely, definitely a lie. But Kobe. When you look at the – besides 2000, I think we could all agree in the year 2000, Kobe was second field with Shaquille O'Neal. I think there's nothing that you could do to defend that. But in 2001 and 2002, uh, the road leading up to the Western Conference, Kobe Bryant outplayed – Kobe Bryant uh, outplayed uh, Shaquille O'Neal for more series than Shaq did. It was 4-2. to two. Kobe outscored him more times than not. Out so the road just because you outscore somebody dub does not mean no, you but, hold on, I mean hold on, we I, oh, okay 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 hold on hold on hold on let me, that. That. let me answer no, that let me answer that so yeah no. so so on top of of top of him outscoring him for most of those yeah defensively I think we could all agree that Kobe for the majority part was a better defender in that time right mm, so and yeah. a better playmaker I'm not gonna go that far but I, 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 oh passer 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 not playmaker passer I, I, I'll 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 go that far yes I, I will say oh. that however what what this was about this was about him saying that Kobe carried them to the finals. And I'm having a difficult time with a guy who, again, in 2001, I this is what I remember specifically, in 2001 in the West semifinals against Sacramento, Shaq, to start the series against the Sacramento Kings, he mm -hmm. goes 40 and 20 twice. And what I'm, having Kobe a, I'm having a they difficult time. 42? Actually, they actually, have 42? Actually, Kobe, actually, Kobe averaged 35 a game in that series. Right. And this is what this is about. This is What this is about, this is about a guy saying that he was carried. That's it. Let's stick to the point. Well, ticket. okay, the well, logic is hold on, but you have to look at the matchups too. Sha Shaq was playing against Scott Pollard, bro. Oh, here we go. Kobe Bryant was out here, here playing. Bro, I'm just being. Hold on. I'm, if go. you look at the series, hold on. If you look at the series, when Shaq played against, against the better, when Shaq played against the when Shaq played against the better centers throughout his career, Shaq did not play as well offensively. He didn't play as well all around when he played the King. When he played all those best dudes that had to guard him at the center spot, he did not have his greatest series, bro. When so Shaq was playing. Yeah, keep going. I'm sorry, Ticket. I, I didn't mean to. When Shaq was playing a bunch of no names, he was dunking on them and kicking them in their face and throwing them through the basket. Co Kobe don't just, Bryant. Don't just, don't just say. The reason, hold on, the reason why I'm saying you to appreciate Kobe is because who was in the game. And what we're saying is because when Shaq was getting in foul trouble and they couldn't play him late in a lot of those games because getting in free throws, who was closing the casket? They don't win. They don't win the series against Indiana if Kobe doesn't come back from that injury and close that series because Shaq was in foul trouble and couldn't finish the series. Mm -hmm. They don't close a lot of these series if Kobe Bryant ain't out there to clean up the mess that Shaq couldn't finish because he's in foul trouble or because mm -hmm. he's breaking free throws or because they went to the hack of Shaq. But right. you never give Kobe Bryant the credit for that. That's you not true. That's not true. That's not true. That is not true. That is not true. That's 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 not true. He also, Shaq was in foul trouble a lot of times. And not only that, like I said, you never even went 
to the to the first championship. You can I'm go back to the Indiana series. And I'm, glad, and I'm glad that you mentioned that too, Ticket, because again, I just met you not too long ago. So you didn't hear half of the stuff that I've ever said about Kobe Bryant. So the fact that the best game that I ever saw in person was in 2001 in the Western Conference semifinals in Sacramento when he put 48 and 16 on him. I was in the building for that. The best game that I've ever seen. And by the way, I was around when Jordan had hair and, he, and they used to call him Air Jordan. I saw him play in person. I remember that dude. I saw the bad boy Pistons play. I saw these guys play in person. That game that I saw that afternoon in Arco Arena, I was in the building for that. He went 48 and 16. It was the best and game. Cold ever. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking that's the game he's talking about. He has 48. No, no, he's talking about the game. He's, he's talking, talking about, about the game Kobe. at 48. The game that Kobe had 48, Chill right. Town, watch this. No, 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 watch this. Not Chill Town. Watch this. <laughs> now, here, here's, why, here's why I attach you. Bro, you see all that stuff you just said about Shaq? Shaq never – hey, look. Shaq never – how many times did Shaq get it done? And he had Penny Hardaway and those guys before he played with Kobe. Uh, from what, how, was, was Shaq his most – hey, when he came home to L.A., even in their first few years, Shaq was so dominant. He didn't start winning until Kobe Bryant was great. Put that and, in your and, pipe and, and smoke and, it. And he needed That's Kobe every Bryant. Every player needed a secondary guy. That's everybody. No, no, no. He, he didn't fluent. start winning until Kobe was fluent. great. He's fluent. He's saying Shaq was so dominant. Listen right. to what I'm saying, fluent. Fluent. Watch this. Now, I'm going to cook him. You ain't cooking me, ticket. Hakeem, You're not. Hakeem, Hakeem, Hakeem legitimately won championships. Without a second superstar level guy playing at that level on his team, Correct. he legitimately won a chip like that. Correct. If Shaq was so dominant, like this dude say he was, why right. when Kobe Bryant first went over there, when Shaq was the man, he already went to the finals. Why couldn't he get it done well, until Kobe all, Bryant okay. was great? Okay, answer the first of all. Okay, let's answer the question. So number one, like you just said, Hakeem Olajuwon was able to get it done without a legitimate superstar. Can we not leave out the fact that number one, that was year eleven? that he was in when he did that. Number two, that team was together for quite a long time. Number three, when Kobe Bryant got with Shaquille O'Neal, he was in year four. Not only was he in year four, it took Kobe Bryant years to develop. So Shaq was in year eight when he was able to get it done with a 21-year-old kid in Kobe Bryant who we saw ascending to become a great player. There was no, not only was there no ascending player, these guys that Hakeem Olajuwon had, these guys were together for a long time, and you cannot leave out how important. Are you sure, Are you sure Robert Orr was a rookie? Sam Cassell was a rookie. Don't make me cook you, Chill Town. Robert Don't Orr make me cook you. Robert Orr, Robert, Orr, Robert Orr was a rookie. Robert Orr got drafted in 1992. Do not make me filet mignon your ass. Once again, Sam you're Cassell, wrong. You are Sam wrong. Cassell was a rookie. Sam Cassell was a rookie. Robert Orr got drafted in 1992. They won the NBA championship in 94, so you're wrong right there. Okay, okay well, he's so that's on. not true. So, okay, no, hold on. He was you a young guy. Talking. He was that's a young guy. Doing. He was that's a young guy. Doing. He was that's a young guy. So Bernie Mac was, was okay. in the league hold for a long time. Bernie Smith was in the league for seven years. Mario so, Hilly, he's got... When Shaq went, went to L.A., L.A. when Shaq went to L.A., Eddie... Go, go ahead, chill. Get Don't your final points off. Don't Take make me it. when I'm we cooking gotta this food. Move you ain't cooking nobody. We we gotta move on. Don't make me when I'm cooking him. That's the violence. You ain't yo, doing nothing. You gonna go to your grill. We moving on. You gonna put his ass on the grill. 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 You gonna put I just told you, Hakeem had a, what? A second year player, Robert Ory, a rookie in Sam Cassell, and he won the chip. Shaquille O'Neal went to LA. I'm going to say it again. You was talking about how dominant he was. He already had went to the finals. He went to LA. He still had an all star on that team in Eddie Jones. He still had good players in Nick Van Exel, Sabalos, and all those other guys. Why couldn't Shaq, all the way up until Kobe became great, win a chip? Once again, the, 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 the idea that you bring in Hakeem Olajuwon is not the same thing because he won the NBA championship in year 11. Shaq got those guys. He's in year four when he gets Eddie Jones. He's in year four when he gets Van Exel. He's in year four. And Hakeem Olajuwon was in year 11. How many years, years he played play in Orlando? He was in... I'm sorry, he was in year five when he got those guys, not year okay. four, I apologize. He was in year five, as opposed to Hakeem Olajuwon, who it was double the time by the time he won the NBA championship. So when Shaq wins the NBA championship, 
Robert Ory had been in the league for quite some time. Rick Fox had been in the league for quite some time, right? All of these guys have been in the league. Uh, Derek Fisher had been in the league for quite some time. Kobe had been in the league for quite some time. So they were building that unit around Shaq, and they were growing. And once they got it figured out, they started winning. It wasn't like he went over there and started winning immediately. Just like when Olajuwon was in Houston, they didn't start winning immediately. What are you talking about, Ticket? Stop talking about cooking somebody. Your logic is whack, B. <laughs> all right, Ron, with that being said, let's move on. Kobe is a top 10 player all time. Oh, yeah. man. <laughs> Yo, let's jump into some more of these super chats. Christopher D said they botched the trade for Stoudemire and Michael Red. Cavs had stinkers too. Yeah, they did. Yes, they did. That's a fact. Web Slinger tapped in. He said, crazy how Ticket exalts Kobe like he didn't also try to make a super team with Nash and Howard to compete with Miami. Don't do it. Don't 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 open Pandora's box, please. <laughs> Keep going. Hey, <laughs> sir, you opening Pandora's box, man. You ain't got to play with me like that. I'm a grown damn man, dog. That motherfucker, he know that's bullshit. A uh, old Steve Nash. Come on, man, cut the shit, bro. That won't no fucking super team, man. My, my excuse my language. <laughs> cut it out, bro. A thirty <laughs> chimed in. He said, "Fluent, are you giving Dub discounts on debate lessons?" <laughs> Never. He won't listen. So no. <laughs> I rewatched it too, bro. <laughs> And how you feel? How you feel about that dub? By the way, I got robbed a hundred percent. You got robbed, yeah. You got robbed. <laughs> but you know what? But you want to know something? I actually have something to show you, because like ticket, even if, even if I I lose, I still win. <laughs> I'll show you that right now. You got something to show? Line, us, one uh -oh. shot. Who would you rather have taking it, Iggy or Curry? Of everyone on Golden State, open shot, fate of the universe on the line. The Martians have the death beam pointed at Earth. You better hit it. I want Iguodala. Can't even put that. Had it like can't put a good man. Don't give a fuck. This nigga get mad. Or you can bitch and get killed. Don't be mad. Got blood on his shirt. Just as bad as Mike Kellerman's sake about taking even, Iguodala was that. Even oh, when I lose, God. I win. You won't get love like this, fool. Remember that. You got cheerleaders. I got riders. Remember that. <laughs> Big Mark came with the super chat. He said, AD over Tatum is blasphemy right now. Stop it, Mars. Did you say that, Mars? Yeah, I think yeah he said that shit. Yeah, I think oh. he's better, too. And, t and Tatum don't let his team to an NBA Finals, and AD led his team to the infirmary. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. <laughs> I'm trying, dog. Stop I got wrong. you. No, that was, that's a bar. That's a Yo, bar. Adrian Shake chimed in. He said, big ups, guys. Why do American fans never put pressure to call for the owners to leave the franchises? Bulls, for example, have the Reisendorfs, who are horrible owners. That's not true. That's not true at all. Um, what you call it? Donald they, Sterling. They, Donald Sterling. They, for, yeah, they, they do it all the time. Didn't they know? do it for the Clippers? Didn't they yeah, do it for Donald the Sterling? Sterling is out. They've been the doing it for owner. Snyder. I, I think, I think mm -hmm. what he means, because those were very serious issues that definitely had to be addressed. I think right. what he means is, even with teams who are consistently ass, right? Uh, they're not really calling to them not being the owners anymore as like you should. I don't know about that, Dub, because I hear that the Knicks owner they want him gone yesterday. And how long? Nah, how long did it take for that to happen? Right. No, no. The different the difference is the fans call for it, but the owners are billionaires who don't give a shit and just don't go. You can't right. for, the fans can't force force a billionaire out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're calling for it. They just say no. Yeah. Uh, is anybody calling for the timber uh, 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 for the uh, Timberwolves ownership? Or the Sacramento Kings over he, well, he, he, he did say, that dude that dude from the Timberwolves, he sold the team. He's out. He was gone. I was gonna oh, say, does okay. anyone care yeah, enough he, about the Timberwolves to come? Yeah, he sold that team. Yeah, he's out. Hey, he, and, and, and he was hey, and he was hey, fouled too. And he was fouled he's because he's of how he did KG. He was fouled. Yeah, 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 sure. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get on this run. Save this for a different debate. Because I'm gonna double back on that little uh punk Mars about this that KG and uh and Dirk thing. Make sure we say that for a different debate because you know, these dudes, for some reason, think that uh, KG get a pass, too. He don't get a pass for what happened in Minnesota. He, he failed in Minnesota. He he, uh, he underachieved in Minnesota, and those are facts. And that is another reason why I have dirt over him. We never got to finish that debate. I thought we was going to do it on Black Friday. But that's another point I wanted to cook Mars' ass on since he was running Kiki and laughing when they were saying that all of KG's teams was garbage in Minnesota, which was absolute bullshit. No, it's not. No, it's oh, not. Hold, hold up, chill. Well, we ain't doing that. No, 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 no
Go ahead, I'm not going to say nothing. Let him wrong. say. Let him be on no, the record no. for what he said. So when I double back next no. week, go ahead, Ron. No. Yeah, here's what we're going to do. Here's go what we're going to do. In some of the next upcoming episodes, we're going to do a top five power forward list of all time. Yep. We're going to let everybody talk about I'm who's who that. and who's not. Okay. I'm down go at the power forward position. Man, lost in the first round every goddamn year. This man go sit up here and talk that shit. Chill, you too old for that stupid shit. You and me. You too old for that dumb shit, man. Stop capping, man. All you right, stop so. capping. S SSJ Gabe. You've been doing this lying up here. You're going to call me a liar, mother. Man, don't get me cut. <laughs> oh, don't get, yeah, don't get yeah. me cut. Hey, hey, we can turn it all, you know, we can turn, we can turn the panel all the way up if you want to. But one thing you're not going to do is keep telling them damn lies you telling. And you too. Yeah, you okay. Like I said, you, like I said you make sure you hold this for the next debate. Make sure you hold this in your mind. I said it and take a picture. KG underachieved the Minnesota all in 51 years, and the man lost in the first round almost right. every single year until he got free well in him. That's bull. Right. Sorry. Ticket. Here's what we're, I'm gonna do. No I'm gonna I'm we'll I'm I'm run a poll and I'm gonna ask who caps more. Ticket or chill. By the way, nah, I'm gonna pull up right listen, listen, but, Ron. But, you don't have to run a poll over here. Nah, I'm in the I'm Lions Den. Run. Nah, that's I'm in red. the Lions Den. Run. I'm the most hated over here. I don't I don't take none of the polls over here serious. If we do something, we gotta have a real panel. We don't got we'll, we don't need no real panel and we don't need no judges. You and me was up here just now, and I can tell you right now, you was lying. How about that? Uh, like I said, like I said before, so we're like done I with this. Before, so we're done with this. Like I said lying. before, hey, ahead, like I said before, hey, <laughs> guess what? Guess what? When Dame Dollar and them had injuries, Dame Dollar was still getting out the first round some most of those years. Ahead, and went, uh huh. Now put that in your pipe. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you first round every year. All right, all right, all right. A 50-win team getting beat in the first round every year, but these this capping ass dudes come up here and tell you he'll come up here and be the same one to say Cat is an underachiever and all these other dudes with teams they got. But Kevin Garnett, 50 wins damn near every single year. He couldn't get out the first round. And re remember, Floyd, am I lying? They used to criticize KG about that. Remember, they used to say, hey man, he, he can't get it, he can't even get out the first round. He got killed years. because of that. Seven straight Yo, years. Take it. We're going to talk about KG next week, bro. Yes, sir. Really? Moving along. <laughs> S SSJ Gabe said, Yo, Jub, check your DMs. I did. Boy. Let, me, let me check it again. Gabe is a Gabe is a boss, man. Love you. <laughs> que lo que. Que lo que, papi. Wah, wah, wah. Hey, yo, you, where, where, where your people from, dog? You Puerto Rican? Uh, I'm Puerto Rican. I, 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 I know a lot of Dominicans, though. So, oh, um, you speak Spanish, dog? Right. Nah, I don't. I'll be having the Spanish woman trying to teach me. I'll use that as an excuse. Yeah, you got to learn Spanish, bro. I'll be like, yo, yo, you want to teach me some Spanish real quick? And they try. They try, try other things, too. <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah, Moving we heard on. about that pregame, but we're not going to talk about that on the air. Ali, you, come What did I do? Said 2009 Magic versus 2021 Last week? Bucks. Yeah. Who wins? Oh, yeah, that was a bad night for me. Bucks. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, what was I, think Bucks, I think the Bucks handled them. No doubt about that. I do. As good as that, as good as that, as good as that Magic team was in two thousand nine, I think that the Bucks handled them. If they healthy, yeah, I think the Bucks handled them. Why you keep saying that Magic team was so good? Kobe handled them, like you said, right? Kobe did handle them. The right. Lakers, the Lakers had not, not Kobe handled them. No, 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 the no, Lakers Kobe handled them. Kobe was the Finals MVP, average thirty five. Keep saying it. Cause I'm gonna I'm gonna expose your your you ain't, you ain't you ain't exposing you nothing. Just said Kobe you just said nothing. You said what you said. Kobe you not exposing had, nothing. He averaged 34 in the finals. Kobe had and they beat that. them. And, and LeBron James and got they beat them. And LeBron got smoked like a blunt. Put that put that in your pipe too. Put that in your pipe too. Yeah, because you can come up with 11, all that 11 disrespect. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I am not. You can strip that up. the hell up. You ain't stripping All right, we're not, we're not doing this again. Come on, my man. Dimitri Hale chimed in. He said, love your conversations, y'all. This is the only channel that gives my guy Giannis his props. I'm from Milwaukee, so it's rare to get love in my city. All love to y'all. Really? It's Dimitri. rare? Isn't Giannis like, considered unanimously the best player in the world? Like no, you go. You turn on your TV. You turn on TV. They say everybody else but Giannis. We the only ones on here that Giannis from serious? me, fluent and yeah, chill. I don't, I don't watch ESPN like that. So word. Wow. I ain't never heard that ticket. I, I thought he was. Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I thought he was. I thought he was. No, us three literally on this show. 
We the only show that give Giannis his props. If you turn on that's any that's TV we, show, that's why we the best show, though, right? Yeah. That, 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 if you turn on any show, they talk about Luke or somebody else, bro. Come on, no, bro. absolutely. Oh yeah, I didn't no. know. That. I, I, yeah, I mean, I think, for, for, for it to be as widely known that Giannis is the best player in the world, he doesn't get as much props. Think about it. Kobe and LeBron during their heyday. Anytime you turn on ESPN, it was main topics for them. Shaq during his heyday, main topics for him. Jordan during the 90s. Jordan, 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 Jordan. That's all they really talked about for the most part. Giannis <laughs> doesn't get talked about from start to finish the way he should Based on the way he dominates, I wonder if that's because he. That's Euro. why you should watch the panel, not ESPN. I think it could. No, be. It's, not, it it's not that because it's, it's not that because they talk about they talk about Luca a lot. I, I know what it, I really know what it is, but I, I ain't gonna go into it on this channel. I I, I think I know I where you're going. I, yeah, I, th I think I know I think, where you're yeah. going too. Yeah, but, I know what it is, man. He ain't I'm listen, thinking, listen. The, the PG version for one second. He didn't come up in the same system as Melo, Braun, and all them dudes in the AAU system and stuff like that. So, and he's a brother, so they look at him differently. Then they do all the other brothers as dominate. Luca is different because Luca, I mean, bro, he he, I mean, he fits the bill. You know what I'm saying? He can ball. He's, I mean, he. You look at him, you don't think that he can do much, but he he fits the bill of a lot of guys who wish that you know the unathletic wish they could they could do. He fits that bill. So is, it fair, so is it fair to say that? So with that logic, if Giannis was from I don't know, let's say Giannis was from Chicago, or if he was from oh, oh, Atlanta, he built TV every day. Hundred percent, especially okay. Chicago. Especially it's because he's from my motherland. That's why. Okay. I, I, I think I think a lot of it has to, and I always felt like that. That a lot of it has to do with the fact that he's a Euro. I did. I, I did think that. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, look at Montre, look at what Montrez Harold did to him. If he was from America, he wasn't going to play that dumbass. Man, if that was Steph Curry, that never happens. If that exactly. was LeBron, that never happens. Never. If that was anybody else, that never happened. He did that to 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 Giannis. Because they have a genuine hatred for, him. and this is a bench dude who's about to be out the league doing that food. Yeah, acting like he 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 been in Philly his whole fucking career. He's not, he's he's tough, not from Greece. He was born in Greece. I'll, I'll beat you up, man. Meanwhile, not doing nothing, man. He dude's clown. I said it, Montrez. Put it on my tab, sucker. I I, I will dare you to walk up to me and say that same shit. I slapped the piss out your bitch ass. Period. I said, <laughs> I said your face. Keep going. I'm playing period. And I ain't, I ain't running from nobody. You can come find me on Ticket TV. You can hit me up on my Instagram, Ticket TV Media. You a punk for what you did to Giannis. And I wish to God I was Giannis' brother as a teammate. I'd have, I'd have beat your bitch ass right there in front of everybody on camera after the game. And I ain't going to keep talking about it. If I seen your ass, I'd have went off on you if I was Giannis' teammate because that was some bullshit. And I don't, like when, people pull, threw the I don't like when people him. pull. I don't like when people pull stunts like that, bro. That's whack, man. Bro, every player in the league does that. We've seen LeBron. We've seen Kobe. They go out after the game and get shot sometimes, bro. What they did to him, man, that was outright disrespect, bro. And it wasn't enough said about that, man. Bro, the man was not bothering nobody, bro. Then you're going to go down there and snatch the ball, go to the other end, start shooting, like, disrespect the dude like that. And this dude, it ain't like Giannis disrespectful, y'all. Giannis respect everybody, man. He respect no, that's everybody. True. Now, you got to remember, you gotta about you gotta remember, you gotta remember too, Ticket, if, if, for that reason right there, because ain't really no dirt on Giannis, right? Not only is there no dirt on Giannis, there's nothing really bad going on with Giannis. So something like this, people looking to, they, they sick of the commercials, they sick of the nice guy logic, they looking for something with Giannis. So I think that's what this was really about. Yeah, but that's bad, man. I don't like, I don't like you doing that to somebody who's honorable to people. Giannis an honorable dude, man. I don't he like a stand up that. dude. No doubt, no doubt about that. He'll stand up dude. I ain't gonna fight that. Like I, I argue with Mars every day. If somebody, if I if I was with Mars and somebody tried to do something to Mars, I'm standing on that with Mars. You know what I'm saying? Because I rock with Mars on that level. You know, me and Mars can talk shit, but can't nobody come talk nothing to him beside me because I know that Mars ain't that type of dude. He ain't that type of dude that's looking for that type of trouble. Giannis is the same way, bro. If, if his teammates was out there, they should have all jumped on Montrez's ass, man. I don't like stuff like that. Fake bully, fake tough guy stuff. That's mm -hmm. whack, man. That man mm -hmm. honor everybody, bro. We need to protect the players in the league like that because you wouldn't have pulled that with Steph. You wouldn't have pulled that with none of the other guys, LeBron James. You wouldn't have pulled that with KD. You would have mm -hmm. sit down and shut up. But for some reason, these dudes dishonor a dude like Giannis who doesn't disrespect anybody. Every time you hear him, he's talking about how somebody else is better, bro. So he going to disrespect them when they play in the playoffs. Oh, he going to disrespect them. Disrespect them. Except when he's throwing them through the basket. That's the only time he disrespects them. Come on, bro. Go ahead, Ron. I'm sorry if I interrupted you. Go ahead, Ron. All right, back into the super chat. We got, we got Bobby, 75 super chats. So. <laughs> Bobby E tapped in. He said, we'll take AD for HB in a first. And by HB, he's talking about Harrison Barnes. <laughs> no. Okay. We can do better than that. 
Dimitri Hill came with another super chat. He said to those that give credit to KD for his two rings in Golden State, if you swapped any other superstar on that Golden State team, wouldn't you get the same results? If yes, yes then those rings are meaningless. I don't know if they're meaningless, but yeah, if you swap any other superstar, sure, they're still winning. They swap regular players and did it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing. <laughs> they, they literally put a dude who everybody thought was a bust in Wigan. Sorry, Derek. Drink, drink more oh, water. Came sorry, Derek, for what? None. He spoke about KD in a negative light. Well, why do people think I'm a KD fan? I just think he's very talented. Go ahead. Drink more water came through. He said, I have to call you out, Mars. You said the Warriors are still contenders because they're st because their starting lineup is elite. But you say the Bucks offense is bad, even though the Bucks starting lineup without Middleton are fifth in offensive rating. Middleton and Drew Holiday. Holiday been hurt half the season. Remember to put that in there too. Drew Holiday's missed like five games. I wouldn't listen Drew to Drew Holiday's missing half the I mean, season. He's missed like five games. I'm like I'm not ninety percent drink more water. Games. Drink more water. Said all you guys ain't American. So just keep that keep that in mind. Keep but on. the Bucks starting lineup. The reason what? I speak what? about the Warriors starting lineup. The sample size is so much bigger. It's like a hundred minutes more. The Bucks starting lineup is very good. Mm -hmm. I agree. But the Warriors starting lineup is historically great that's why i still believe they're contenders i still think the bucks are contenders i just think their offense as I, I even said i need to see chris middleton back because right now i don't think this offense is sustainable but with chris middleton it might all change i've made that very clear many times but thanks for calling me out <laughs> cb1 came through with the super chat he said luca jb jt ad and Jokic, or curry book braun greek freak and cat the first team Hmm. Luca, JB, JT. That's a tough one. Joker, Curry, Book, Braun. I'm not gonna hold you. I'm taking. It. I'm <laughs> you got Giannis. Curry, yeah, Curry, Braun, and Giannis, man. Yeah, you got you got Braun, Curry, and Giannis together. No, I'm going with that team. With cat space in the floor out. Oh so, hell no. So you put Braun and the freak on the same team, bro. Yeah, I'm sorry, bro. That's nightmares. Yeah, that is nightmares. I got. They do the Lakers and pull that deal. Chase Richard chimed in. He said, would enforcing a hard cap on team salaries increase league parity? Teams like the Spurs have 90 mil in contracts, while Golden State and others have 180 mil plus. Always feel like they should do it, fool. 100%, and they should do it. That's the difference between the NFL and the NBA. NFL has a hard cap. There's parity. Save the league, fool. Tell the truth, fool. And isn't there, level. Isn't there a lot of parity? Isn't there a lot of – hasn't there been a lot of parity since, like, 2021, though? No, because you still got teams one, one like the Warriors fans. The Warriors not supposed to have a team. In a few years. Like, so after – after because this is what happens. I mean, the super teams get built with uh, Kevin Durant and the Warriors, and then the Lakers had their little run in 2020. But then every year after that, I think it's been pretty up in the air. We did have the Lakers. I, I think, and then I the think Nets, that happened – I think, Dub, I think that happened because, one – the this, this superstars spread out, and the superstars who tried to build those super teams either got hurt or it didn't work. So what this would do is it would create a system where one superstar per team or one – sorry, when I say superstar because I don't believe there's that many superstars, one superstar caliber player per team and then like – and then those role players. And it, I think, yeah, I think it definitely creates more parity. It would be a way more exciting league when it wasn't five teams. So you think – so you think there's still a threat. So you think there's still a threat of – uh of non parity because of that. I, I think because right now we don't know who's going to win this. I year. think right now there's, but there's probably what, like four teams that you know are in contention and like 10 teams that have no shot. And I think a hard cap brings that number up. Isn't uh, the I, NFL I mean, the same way? The NFL? Right now, I mean, th there's only uh, the San Francisco, Philadelphia, uh, Chiefs, Bills, and maybe the Bengals. That's about it. Hey. You know, uh, I'd have to. I have to look. I think there's maybe a few more. Nah, that's Ron, you have to put this in a Ron. You have to Again, put this all in healthy. The, that's the problem. Ron, you have to put this in. Ron, you have to put this in one of the topics. I'm glad Fu was saying this stuff because it just made me think about something. But I, I hope we talk about this in the near future. And that is guys like Kawhi Leonard and the abuse of missing games, and how I think that teams should be able to move on from those guys. You know, I'm saying I, I'm really thinking they should go to the NFL type contracts in the league to where. If these dudes, man, because it, it, sometimes it's just abuse, bro. 
And like you're paying the dude all this money, and the, and the Clippers they, they got all this money tied up between Paul George and Kawhi Leonard, and we don't even get on these dudes, bro. And look at the mess they've created, man. And these dudes ain't even playing. Like, mm. and, and, and we talk about now if you are putting a cap on it, now teams really gonna have to make tough decisions. Like, like Florida said, and that evens out the league, and it stops just foolishness going. The Clippers, if I if I was the Clippers owner, I trade all the clubs. And let me and let me hold on. Let me go back to Dub's, Dub's question. At the beginning of the season, there was more than five teams that we thought had a legit shot. As the season has progressed, you're right. There's probably I'm counting them in my head. There's probably five or six. But mm-hmm. here's the thing about the NFL: from year to year, because of that parity, because of that hard cap, you can go from a four and eleven team like the Bengals to the Super Bowl the next year. In the NBA, it's a lot harder to do that because mm-hmm. there's more, and maybe people like the dynasties and those things. It's a lot harder to do that because. The, the Warriors can just resign everybody. The Warriors just resign everybody, and they're just always really good, or whatever the case may be. But I think it allows teams to rebuild faster. Where the you hard cap rebuild. Yeah, the hard cap from a non-playoff team to a playoff team. I think quicker turnaround. Uh, I don't know. I think that's more due to uh, uh, there's more po- there's more player politics in the NBA. I think that's more of the reason why you know people don't want to go to Detroit or Sacramento and things they want to go in places that they want to play they have possibly willing that's more of a players wanting to go there rather than parity in my opinion but but here's the, but again but that hard cap then stops that so for example if Wade I'm just no let me not pick on that one uh if Kyrie KD and James Harden want to go to Brooklyn well mm-hmm. either you're going to take way less money what you're not going to do or sorry you need to go run your own team and that makes now three teams good versus But one that's why I agree with you yeah. That's why I, I agree with you. Where yes, it stops super. Even they teams, might want but, to, but yeah, it eliminates. It. But right now, but right now, I just think that there's a crazy parity in the league right now. So I don't, I don't see a reason to change. Maybe to stop a creation of super teams, I agree with you, but that's the only reason. Sean T tapped in. He said, "When Ticket enters the conversation, or when Ticket enters the convention, he gets ninety percent of the airtime on the show because he takes so long defending his crazy takes." Hey man, I guess I guess that's what happened when you got ninety thousand subs, sucker. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good that's a good one. That's a real good one, ticket. John Smith also chimed in with some words for ticket. He said ticket is cooked once again. That's all right. All y'all talking. I'm gonna work on something with Ron. I'm gonna come for that ass. Don't worry. I'm gonna work on something with Ron. Ron know what it is. Ron we got know what it is. Sleeves. Yeah, you got some of our sleeves for you hoes. Period. Yeah, y'all, y'all better watch out. Can, and, and ticket, and, and ticket. I'm gonna tell you right now. These dudes, they talk real loud on the sideline. Yeah. When, hey, when you invite hey, them, hey, chill, when you invite them, when you invite them in the ring. Hey, chill, chill. I want to treat them like some strippers. I'm telling you, y'all. Y'all need to. Hey, listen. We need to have a show. We need to have an episode on here. Well, we just let one of these bombs just come up in here one at a time. Like See, hold on. That's the Here's point. The that's the, that's one the, of your lackeys came on fluent and chill and, and yeah, was chirping. Yeah, and I, yeah. I put the I put the link in the chat and I said, okay, come join us. A, t- a ticket. They, they they, let me tell you what they, they do. They, they they talk real loud on the sideline. When you invite them in the ring, they oh, don't go. Uh-uh. 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 Yeah, hey, hey nope. chill time. See, hey, chill. We go at it. But hey, don't y'all think chill the easy way. It ain't nothing easy about coming up here. <laughs> In debate with none of these guys. You guys <laughs> talk all this stuff, man. When they open that chat, when Chafu and Chill and all these guys do their show, I gotta be man up, step in that chat room. Can't nah, just be talking in the comment it's, section. It's, it's uh, easy to watch. It's easy to watch and say, "I would have made that shot." It's another thing to go on the court and take that. When, shot. when you invite them in the <laughs> ring, this is completely different. Ticket, you see them, they, they they get all like this, and they. Oh, well, well, I, I didn't mean. Well, I just want to say, I want to stop the conversation. What I respect, don't respect nothing. Put the gloves on and let's go. Uh oh, uh uh-uh, uh, I'm I'm not ready. I, I don't mean it like that. Now you don't mean it like that. Hey, I, feel like, I feel like we have to stop bulling the ring on on <laughs> players choice because most of the guys on on gridiron because most of the guys that came in were like oh, i really like what you guys are saying here we go here we go you invite him in the ring <laughs> you know what, I really, there, was there was a couple there was a couple there was a couple and now they're on the panel mm-hmm. right? i do I, I do enjoy the people that show appreciation don't get that don't get that 100 percent. it's just when i see when i see all these uh comments when i see all this hate being spewed I'm the type of person that just likes it. So when I invite people on the show and you don't have the heat, I get a little uh, 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 disappointed because yeah, because you said all you, you motherfuckers, you know hold on, hold on. You know all, you, all you motherfuckers in the chat. I'm talking about you, Arch, because you, Arch, love talking your shit. Yeah. <laughs> I want you on the show, especially. Yeah. I can bring put your ass, ass in the grill. Bring your ass in the ring. Come on, the cheese up. 
Arch, know, Arch is a good one. Hey, Arch, is the, like, Arch is the real one that really loves talking shit. We got at least one show a month like that, Ron, where we, we all up here and we let one of those guests come in at a time, maybe like for five minutes. Come on in. And see what they got. Look at Edward. Come on. I would cook chill town. I bet you, I bet you, I bet you this. Come to Florida Chill on Thursday. I'll put you on. I bet you they won't come on no more. I bet you that. Yeah, I hope so. We, we could get to the bottom of that right now. Yeah, I bet you after they come in, I, come I, bet you, I, dro- I, I dropped the link right in the chat. I bet you after they come on, they won't come on again. I bet you that. Mm-hmm. Hey, y'all, right. y'all better start understanding have a high level of respect for these guys, man. It's not easy to be thinking off the fly coming up. Because, see, listen, we talking basketball. Like I said, I ain't just sitting here using no. I got to ask fluent. Hey, look this up, Floor. Look that up, because I'm going off my memory. And in basketball, so much stuff happens and passes over the years. You might not get a year correct or something like that. So it's oh, easy. I, got to no, I, I, need, I need to have it. I have no. I have no memory. Facts. See what I'm saying? So it's easy. But you have. I mean, you remember things that happened, but you might not put it on the exact dates all the right. time. Like yeah, yeah, still yeah. might say, yeah, four years ago, but it might be five. But he right. knows pretty much what happened. It's just that sometimes you lose count when you look at all the things. But these guys don't understand it and they run their mouth. So that's why I said. Ron, we should do at least one show a month where we let these dudes come up in here. And if you got something you want to get off against, fluent, chill, well, Mars. Well, what we Doug, could do, whatever. well, what we could do, me and Mars does do open gym every Fridays. If you guys ever want to join the club and debate with those guys on Fridays at 5 30 <laughs> Eastern time or 5 p.m. Eastern time, hit me and Mars up. Let Blood. us know. And we'll hook and we'll hook y'all up. Like, let's do this. I'm la- you the, reason it. La- the reason why I'm laughing, Dub, is because I know what it looked like. It, it sounds like a good idea, but I'm telling you, when you invite them in the ring, when they No, we've done the- it. We've actually uh the last episode we had was actually amazing. We got a good rotation, bro. It's it's actually fun. I enjoy open gym. Like, and Dub, when is that again? For those who don't didn't hear Fridays every 5 p.m. Yeah. Man, if you guys want if, if, if Chill Town ticket and or fluid gonna join, we will put that in the title. That way you guys know. Mm-hmm. Uh but yeah, bro, just pull up. Anyway, like you were saying, because uh, it's about it's about that time right. for me. Back into these super chats. Davey Boonhauer said, Where bubble bass? I don't know that. I don't know what that means. <laughs> you talking about love. Oh, oh okay. Oh, that's fire. <laughs> we missed low today. Montreal Barnes said Bobo has more minutes this year than the last four. And you see what he producing. He looks great. He looks great. I In love, fact, he looks great, man. He looked they, that that offense is more wide open. He's rebounding more. He's rim protecting more. So he looks great in what he looks great at what they're doing. He actually is what I thought Mo Bamba was gonna be. That's what he is. What a disappointment. I have no faith in Mo Me neither. They I'm made out. a song about him and I'm everything. Out. I'm like, no. I'm, I'm out on Mo Bamba. I'm out. Yeah, I have no I'm faith out. in that. Denver I'm dropped out. the ball on Bo Bo. That coach, man, he should have. He should have. I saw it a little bit in Denver. He dropped. The, he dropped the ball. Mike Malone dropped the ball on Bo Bo. Should have found a way to get him in that rotation. And it happens too. Ticket. It, it, it teams from time to time they look at guys and remember Bo Bo. His work ethic was in question when he was coming in, and they probably was pushing him in a way that they they handled him different. And I think that they handled him in a way that that was that was wrong for them. And Orlando handling them differently, and you see what's happening with them. So yeah, I mean, keep I in think- mind the Nuggets had Jokic too, though. It's like. We no, gotta, even, even, even though, even though, Ron, we got to find, run, we gotta find some run for him, man. We, I, I believe it. I've been a big run for him. He was in Oregon. I, yeah, I was saying, some run for him. I'm on, I'm on record saying that the Atlanta Hawks should have drafted him. At the with their number eight pick, they had the four in the eight pick that year, and yeah. I think they got Cam Reddish at eight. I was saying they should have got Bobo then. Yeah, but. we gotta find some run for him, man. I'm, I, yeah. I, and I, I appreciate what they're doing in Denver, but yo, you, this this dude need to be in the rotation. Ain't no way he should be sitting on the bench and having ten DMPs. No way. What you got, bro? John Janovich Walk said ticket. Where was Kobe? Wick said ticket. Where was Kobe in 07 and eleven? John, I know you LeBron, I know you are a LeBron James beefcake holder, right? So uh, that's what you specialize in, right? But I'm gonna say this to you, right? Five. That's it. You guys to say where was LeBron in 08, 09, and 2010? Facts. Five, five. And eleven five. two. Don't don't leave don't leave ten out. Eleven two. No, 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 because LeBron five. LeBron was in there eleven. Kobe wasn't. Five, bro. Count. The BMG show said Elder overrated Kobe having him as second all time. No, he didn't. Because if you ask Mike, Mike will tell you, man, the only guy I really looked at, the only guy I really looked at that was in my category was Kobe. I mean, bro, 
if I mean, if you think about it, dog, if you just go off skills, I do think Kobe Bryant was a better skill player than Kareem. I put I put Kobe at three and Kareem over Kobe because of Kareem's body of work. But when you look at Kobe Bryant, bro, the skills, just period. The, the, I'm talking about the the heart, the drive, the clutch, the clutch gene, the desire. All the numbers, statistically wise, may not be in Kobe's favor as far as percentages. But that's because he wasn't a bulldozer. It wasn't just running through dudes to get to the basket. Kobe Bryant was shooting low percentage fadeaways, triple pump fake, excellent footwork, tough shots. He was a tough shot maker, you know what I'm saying, and taker. And not only that, you know, he was just an all-around man. Kobe, man, we got to put respect on a legend name, man. And I don't like when these dudes like Chill Town come here talking about 11. That's bull. Can't give me 11 people on planet Earth that's better than Kobe Bryant. James Jordan, Jabal, Chamberlain, Russell, Magic Bird, Duncan, Lajuan, Beasley. There you go. Bird ain't we'll, better than Kobe. We'll, we'll handle we'll handle Magic a different day. I want Bird ain't better than Kobe. Sorry. Jeremiah Smith said Shaq averaged 30 and 15 in the 01 postseason and 29 and 13 in 02. Carried, stop it. What did Kobe average? Stop. Yeah. Ah. Lit Licker said, get it stats. off your chest. Get it off your chest. Well, you can't Lit look Licker. at just stats. But so what if so Shaq did it all in the, in the first three quarters and then Kobe carried him in the fourth? That was that, the deal. You know, that's, that's, that's what it was. That's that's what it was. We're gonna so get it started. We're gonna get it started with the big fella. We're gonna run it through the big fella and then Kobe, which is what which is what should be going on because someone which is what should be going on Lakers. right now with the Lakers. That's what should be going on right now with the Lakers. Only except it's not. Well, but here's the thing though, uh Fluent. Uh, chill. Kobe Bryant was um he was cooking all throughout the game. He was taking the tough. Kobe Bryant had the toughest assignments, but bro, them dudes on the wing in the West were those were those were hellacious matchups against For someone Jones. who appreciates uh players that play both sides of the ball. That's why I keep saying I don't get how you have him at eleven because. Thanks. It's a contradiction. Chill, it's a chill contradiction. and I have done it. Chill and I have done this multiple times. I can't convince him. I, he makes a good case for his 10. I just don't get it because when you say I like offense and defense, clutch gene is, is all, all that shit's Kobe. Anyways, keep going, Ron. Keep going. Next super chat on the list. Lint Licker said Kobe closed a lot of those games. Correct. Correct. Christopher D said in 2000, Shaq went 20, 36 and 21 before fouling out. Kobe got injured in game two and was out almost that entire game. And Shaq proceeded to drop 40 without Kobe on the floor and won that game. A yeah, finals bro. game. A hundred percent. What happened when it went down to the come down to, to that to that to that game? If they lose that game that Kobe Bryant won, they lose that series, bro. So cut it out. When it, when it was most important, Shaq was on the bench. Couldn't play no more. Fouled out. My laughing effect said, this dude hates Braun so much. He hates Chill Town because he thinks that Braun is the GOAT. LBJ over Kobe has more, has more averages of points, assists, rebounds, and totals. Four finals MVPs and four MVPs. Well, first of all, ticket down. I don't hate LeBron. I don't hate Chill Town. You don't hate I, you, I like Chill Town. Yeah. And I don't dislike LeBron James. I dislike the narrative around LeBron James. And that is because these dudes will come in here and praise a dude who's had some of the most help in NBA history, the most trades in NBA history. That's why I get on Chill Town. Nobody has had more trades in the history of the National Basketball Association. That's not hate, that's facts. Then LeBron James, this man has had over 100 trades on his watch. That's a whole – do you know how many trades LeBron had? Maybe, maybe. <laughs> to 100? <laughs> chill, chill. Wait, you're a fan of longevity, right, Chill? Oh, Jesus Christ. You are, right? Like a big fan of it? And you're a fan of two-way players. Yes. Uh, so how would you feel if Kobe Bryant's prime years was longer than Magic Johnson and Larry Bird's career? His prime years were longer than their careers? Yes, Kobe Bryant's prime started in 2001 or 2000, Correct. whichever year you start. Correct. It lasted all the way to the year 2013. So okay. that's, 13, that's, 13, that's 13 or 12 years. While Magic Johnson, Larry Bird, Magic Johnson only played 11 years, while Larry Bird only uh, played 12. Actually, Magic played 12 Magic years. 13. Oh, 12? I, do I have it mixed up? Yeah. He played, Magic played 12. He played from 79 to 91. He played 12 seasons. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. And Bird played 13 years. Yeah, Bird, Bird played 13 years. So and how is a guy who played longer, had a longer prime than the two, a better two-way threat, not better than those two? Because those guys, what they did in their time, they did more than what he did in his time. Which is? They won more. That's the that's where the separator is. Oh, they won the same. They won the same. Bird, Bird won three. Yeah, Bird won three. Kobe won five. Bird won three and Magic won five. Magic won five, yeah. Yeah, Magic won five. Well, that's tied. That's Kobe tied. won five as well. But and where's the separator? The separator will be stuff talent. like if, if not, accolades, not talent. If, not talent. If, if, if accolades, they're close to each other. Accolades, Kobe's wipes them both on defense. Accolades, actually, all he doesn't wipe them both on defense. Let's hold on. So, on let, the let, accolades, hold on, hold on. all defense. Let, 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 on let's all get defense? to the bottom of that. And I'm glad you brought that up, Ron. And, and we're not going to spend a lot of time on this. And and I hate that. So you're talking about. See, this is why we can't. This is why we can't bring up stuff like this. And the reason why we can't bring up stuff like this is because if we're going to say stuff like this, well, you want to bring up numbers. I mean, Russell Westbrook is better than John Stockton. Russell Westbrook is better than Magic. Russell Westbrook, and I'm not done. Hang on. Mm-hmm. I'm he not is, done. He is better than Stockton. Right, so Russell Westbrook is better than John Stockton. Russell Westbrook is better than, than Chris Paul. He's better than these guys. So when you talk about Larry Bird as a defender, Larry Bird, the inferior part as a one-on-one defender. Kobe Bryant was a better one-on-one defender. But the reason why Kobe Bryant is a minus 12 times in the 20 years that he's been in the league on defense because he wasn't a good team defender. Bird was a very good team defender, which is why he made the All League defensive team as many times as he did. He was a not, he was less detrimental to his team on defense than Kobe was. Mm-hmm. There's where your separator is. Now I'm not going to say that Kobe wasn't. I'm not going to say that Kobe wasn't a great one on one defender. He was elite as a one on one defender. He took the challenge of everybody. Bird wasn't that good as a one on one defender, but he evened that out as a team defender. Mm-hmm. Now in terms of talent, I think that's where you're trying to sell me. I don't think Kobe Bryant is. I don't think he's not a top ten talent. But I think overall, from what these dudes did, not only from what these dudes did, how they did it, and for how long they did it, and what they were doing, where they did it, in the NBA Finals, not just in the NBA Finals, in the playoffs, in the regular, what these guys were doing for as long as they were doing it. Bird finished two or th- Bird finished one or two for nine straight years in league MVP votes. Cool. Let's st- let's stop right there real quick, right? Let's stop right there. You're a guy who values accolades. You're a guy who this values dude, production. No, you're wait, not wait, wait, changing wait. my mind, dog. No, no, I'm not trying to change That's your mind. What you're what, trying I'm, to do. I'm not, you're not. Can I, I allowed you to speak this whole entire time. I would I would ask man. for you to please allow me the same courtesy. Yes, sir. Um, you're a guy who does value accolades. We've had conversations about this before. I do. A guy who is who's accomplished as well. More Correct. all NBA defensive awards Correct. than both Magic Johnson and Larry Bird. Both of them has two more MVPs, which is fine. Uh, two finals MVPs Kobe has. Magic has two. Bird has three. Five NBA chips. When we look at the accolades between the, all those three of those guys, they're damn near each other. We look at the production of all of those guys as well. They're damn near each other. Kobe Bryant is a better scorer than all three of them. Co- you could say that. Oh, my God. You If you're, if you're going to uh, harp all of this on – off-ball defense for Larry Bird being that's a better defender than Kobe. No, it is. It doing. is because no. Kobe Bryant. Brought Kobe Bryant. That's what I brought. Doing. I brought up you accolades. Brought up I brought up. I brought up defense that's for you for accolades because I know that that is something. And I that counted you, that. And I that, counted that point. I, that was it. I know that accolades is something that you was talking about. I was on the accolades for so We want to okay. talk about. We were talking about exactly. defending as players as talents. I don't even I don't even know why you would sit here and make the argument that Larry Bird's a better defender than Kobe Bryant. I didn't that say he's a better true. defender. I did not say that. Okay, okay, so Kobe's a better defender, right? I didn't say he was a better defender. It's Kobe a Larry, better defender. I said Larry Bird was a better team defender. That's fine. A, Who's a better was, defender they, overall? Or better. So this is your logic. You trying to sell I'm, me? That I'm Bird asking you a question. Is, He's a better one-on-one defender than, than Larry Bird. Overall, Larry Bird, I actually Larry defender better, overall. He's a better one-on-one defender than Larry Bird. Larry Bird's a better team defender than him. Period. Who's a better overall defender? Once again, there's the split right there. And the that doesn't, so you're yes, not answering, does. you're refusing to answer not, my I, question. No, I'm not. Because you should be able, Kobe you should Bryant, be able to distinguish, you, you should be able to distinguish between the two. You should be able, okay, this guy's better team and this guy's better on ball. And I should be able to combine the two and become, have an opinion right, so of who's let's better. Do that then. Okay, so let's do that then. Bird was a better team defender. And in addition to him being a better team defender, it used that, it used that for them to win more games. <laughs> one no. on one, Kobe, one on one, Kobe Bryant was a better. One on one, Kobe Bryant was a better. Listen, one on one, Kobe, Kobe Bryant was a better defender. Kobe one wasn't one this ball. liability on off ball defense. That no, you're, you're not on. selling me. And you're I, not I'm it. not trying to sell you. I'm just letting you know my opinion. And Kobe Bryant with his on ball defense, that's why he's a better on ball defender. So yes, a guy, so that's a guy 
who has uh, damn near the same accolades as those three guys, or talent-wise is close to those same guys, has the same amount of chips as all of those guys, had a longer career than all of those three guys. I don't understand by your logic why he's not better than all of those three guys. But it's okay. You could keep you could keep having that contradicting point because it is a contradiction Ron, because you Ron, value two-way Ron, players and you value longevity, but you have those guys over him. Ron, we need to move on because I'm agreeing with Dub and we can't have this. So let's, yeah. let's move on because I got. Hold up. I think they're interchangeable. I got in my order. In order, I got Magic, Kobe, Bird, but you can flip them all around. Flo, you agree with me? I agree with you. Yes. Okay, hold on. Wait, let me do something real quick. One shot. Who would you rather have taking it, Iggy or Curry? Of everyone on Golden State, open shot, fate of the universe on the line, or the Martians have the death beam pointed at Earth. You better hit it. I want Iggy. Cannon, good bang, add it like can to the good. You know, that was that must have just been made because I just posted that video with a <laughs> clip of me yesterday afternoon. The way you posted that yesterday? Just yesterday. It got I, made yesterday. I, I posted <laughs> yeah, that. The they show of me there, there. I just posted that yesterday afternoon. <laughs> That's so fire. Let me go find it. Hey, I love how you just cook chill <laughs> Thank you, brother. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> SSJ Gabe once again with the super chat. He said, Yo, fluent and chill. I was on a show with y'all on Thanksgiving, and I forgot to say I'm a huge fan of y'all. I've been watching Chill since before Player's Choice. Thanks, brother. Appreciate Thanks, it. Thanks, Gabe. It's a pleasure having you on. Dub, every episode, you need to start with quote unquote, Shaq needs to be here. He needs to knock the rust off. And that's from Eagle Nation. Appreciate the super chat. Appreciate the Eagles, too. Shaq's I do miss right. Shaq. Shaq needs to be here. I, I do yeah, miss Shaq. Hey, Shaq, where you at, dog? I'm waiting on you, boy. Like I said, you say you want to rump. Hey, man, we can do it. We can right on things. On oh, 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 what? Oh, no. We, no, we can do right it right, here, right here. Shaq, 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 come, Shaq. I got your spot warm right here. Top left, ready for you. Yeah, Shaq, whatever you want to do, dog. You know what I'm saying? I'm Stop good. hiding. And stop whatever you're doing behind the scenes, playing with a little switchboard. And bring your little ass out here to the front. You know, <laughs> I heard you doing a little mumbo jumbo talking. Bring your ass on, dog. Come on. Yeah, Shaq, stop ducking. Right. Straightway Elder Rufus actually just timed in and said, Dub just flame broil chill on that Kobe 11. I, I told y'all chill be lying, man. Rufus, chill, Rufus, you do not Rufus want to smoke something. with Elder, boy. Rufus going against chill. What a surprise. All right, a couple more to get through. Knocktown P said, why you guys rob ticket? He smoked Mars. Yeah. Question to chill. If you respect playing both sides of the court, where do you rank Trey Young right now? Oh, Trey Young. Hmm. I, don't, I don't think Trey Young is a top 10 player in the game right now. I think he's a top 15 player, but I don't think he's a top 10 player right now. No. Trey Young takes a lot of bad shots. Not only does he not only does he take a lot of bad shots, he's on a bad team defense. His, his team ain't that good defensively, and that exposes him a lot. So he definitely needs to improve on the defensive side of the basketball. No doubt about that. In order for the, in order for them to be better, his shot selection's got to improve, and he needs to get better defensively. No doubt. I think he's a top fifteen player. I don't think he's a top ten player though. No. Most definitely. Knocktown P came with another one. He also said, you guys robbed Elder Rufus also. Yeah, Renato Alves said, Dub is the guy who has daddy issues. That's why he dis that's why he he's disrespectful towards Fluent. Ah, ha, ha. Shout out from Portugal. Keep it up. Mars the Golden, like CR7. I love my father. Not Fluent. <laughs> just your dad justin justin dw said what's your wildest predictions for the nba year mine is golden state losing in the first round that's not wild. i don't think that that's is not, i don't think that's ridiculous at all that golden My state wildest, the wildest prediction right now is that lakers actually recovering and, and getting to the west final and i, 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 I already listen. gave you my wild i gave you my wildest prediction raptors in the eastern conference final so? that's my wild my wild out there prediction yes Powers. Mars, do you have one? With, with defensive yeah, player of the year. Oh, Jim. That's what Phoenix can go to the finals this year. I don't know if that's wild, but I think they could go to the finals. 
it's not wild. It's, it's just not, if they perform, they're the number one seed. So. Yeah. But we yeah. have to see what they do in the playoffs. I don't think that, listen, I'll be honest with y'all. I don't think a healthy I don't think a healthy Phoenix, if if, if LeBron isn't jack a lot of records, I don't know if they can beat a healthy Lakers if they play in the right way, bro. Nah, 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 nah. That's nah. a tough series, man. Listen, bro. Regardless of what I say about LeBron on this channel, bro, that's a tough series if they healthy, bro. That, that's that's forget, don't forget last year they was don't, not last year the year before last dog. Don't two forget that. Ago. Yeah, two they years ago. Two. Yeah, they was they was up in the series before AD got hurt. So if AD that's don't get tough. hurt and James doesn't get hurt, I think we having a different series. Chill. That's a tough series. Mm-hmm. That is a real tough series, man. Yeah, because I don't know if, they if beat AD them. if AD is playing the way he's been playing, and LeBron James is just playing smart, and the other guys who are fitting in now, you know they're gonna make a move or two. They gotta play the right way though. They can't. They, 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 that's the play. thing. That's they the thing that you're harping right on though. That's it's it's a lot of if. So I have to see it to believe with the it's, Lakers. It's, if they it's, could keep playing like this, possibly. But it's, it's a hard. I'm saying it's a hard. Big, out, I don't think it's a big that big of an if. If you think about it this way, I don't care who the other ten players are around LeBron and AD. This is the one if. If LeBron and AD are healthy, they're a tough to beat them four out of seven. That's if tough. they're both healthy, that's I don't care who's around them. That's gonna be a tough out. Yeah, I'm not player. saying they win, but it's a tough out for anybody. I'm not gonna lie, I'm putting my money on the Lakers. I don't the 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 Suns don't have nothing for AD. They still don't have nothing for Braun as old as he is. And on top of that, coming off the bench, they have the best bench player in the whole thing, Russell Westbrook, or in the whole oh, thing. Matt Ryan. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Austin <laughs> Reeves. Yeah, they got a good team though, man. They got a good team. NMP Turbo said Greek Freak with handles or Greek Freak with Drew's handles or Steph with Josh Hops? Greek Freak. Giannis. Can you imagine Giannis? <laughs> Can you that's imagine? Super ni- that's super nice with the pill? <laughs> no, that would be unfair. Oh my yeah. God. No. They, they, they would watch it go. They would, they, would, they would have to, they would change the rules in the NBA. You limited the three dribbles. Yeah, yeah. You, you, yeah. You you. They change the rules. They have to change the rules. They would have to change hey, the hey, rules. Hey, chill. I want to get this one, one little small thing to you. I, I, you, I don't want you to think that I hate LeBron. I just my thing is just I just don't respect his path. Bro. That's it. I, I, I think that if he never quit in Cleveland the first time, I, I would have respected him, man. I because I, I used to be a fan of his before he left Cleveland, bro. That that's my only thing with LeBron James is that he left, and like we seen how Giannis, everybody said he couldn't win. Everybody said he had to leave. He wasn't a leader, and he pushed through and won. I think if LeBron would have pushed through and won, I think then everything else that happened after that, I think would have been everybody would have all would have gave him. He would have had. He would have won a lot more people over like that. I think when he left, like he did, I think that's what made uh, myself and people who don't like him go against him, bro. Brown mm. Mama said, "I feel like Chill is judging players on play styles rather than body of work." Bird and Magic were better team players in terms of skill and talent. And then he said 24 is greater. All right, y'all. Appreciate everybody for tapping in. I'm going to give you a sneak preview of what we're going to get into next week. So as you see here, we have all the teams at the bottom, and then we have a team tier list. The top list is the Larry O'Brien Trophy tier where basically you are a championship contender the next tier is a playoff threat somebody who has the potential to make a deep run in the playoffs the next tier is the play-in tier where you know you are in the playing range or somewhere around there the tier below that is the lottery tier where you know you're a lottery team and the bottom tier is victor Wimbenyamba. All right, y'all. Appreciate you for tapping in. Does anybody have anything to say on the way out? Yeah. Look, hey, chill. We gotta go get that rematch with Elder, bro. <laughs> take it light, but, but take, take it. it. <laughs> <laughs> Same time next week. We will catch y'all then. No doubt. <laughs>